Welcome everybody, welcome to the morning show starting out with a bang on this uh, Thursday morning, that's right, and uh, it's Easter week, and of course this morning show we bring you that the diversity as usual, we'll be starting off with some friends from BL who will be bringing us gifts, I understand, so stay tuned for that, we'll also be looking at the Coastal Zone Management Authority, the Sports Fishing Management, which I, over the Easter a lot of us will do some fishing. 6.30 Promotions also will be joining us this morning and they will be telling us what they are doing. This all has to do with, the, with a, a concert they're having on Holy Saturday. Cycling Federation of Belize and I don't need to give you more detail on that. You know what we'll be talking about, of course. The Classic is coming up this weekend, the Cycling Classic. And Love Lotus, of a opening of the Love Lotus Company Limited. Uh, you, your guess is as good as mine. Let's find out what Love Lotus is all about. So stay with us here on the morning show. What played in the Bolido? 0707 played in the Bolido. And uh, we'll be back with our first guests after the break. Cycling Federation of Belize.
Sorry about that, folks. Good morning once again. The morning show, and it is a Thursday, and a very special Thursday at that. If you're a practicing Christian, then you know this has been Holy Week. And today is what, Holy Thursday, right? Holy Thursday. Good and morning, Ernesto. Good, good morning, Friday. Belize. Yes, um, definitely. Uh, today is very significant to the Christian faith, um, as well as tomorrow, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Um, so it's a long weekend in Belize, and so a lot of what we'll be talking about is going to be centered around that to some extent. Um, we have guests with us in studios who we're very happy to welcome. We have uh, Ms. Katie Usher and Mr. Emmanuel Petch from the Belize Electricity Limited. Good morning. Welcome. And you ask why from Belize Good morning. Electricity Limited? <laughs> well, some of us non practicing Christians will behave badly over the, the weekend. Yes, know. or you'll be tempted to. Well, even yeah. the Christians, I suppose, will be tempted to. Well, no, then you're not, not a good Christian. I said tempted to. Only no, good Christians will stay home and pray <laughs> over the weekend. But the, the point is that uh, we, we, we tend to get a little careless around we this time. We sure do. Yeah, we get a little brazen and mm. careless. and we, we, we spend we, more and we do more. That's right. We use more electricity usually. Right, and we say like Katia and Emanuela from BL. Uh, Katie. Katie. Uh, Katie. <laughs> Katie. Katie. Yes. Katie. Katie. Yes. yes. So Katie. yes, like you said, um, Ernesto. I mean, it's a, it's a beautiful morning today, and I just want to give you uh, both thanks for having us on the show. Happy to have um, you. Especially uh, at this time of the year, uh, we. Uh, like you said, a lot of people will be at home. Well, for those that are going home, you mm -hmm. know, um, that are going outside of their home. We have a lot of people going to our, our pristine beaches in Belize, uh, trying to get a weather f away from that uh, right. hot right. weather. And so at BL, we, well, one of the core values, Kiri will tell you more about this, but one of the core values for BL is safety. Safety in, in everything that we do. Let me just jump in here, Dolores yeah. William, to focus wide on the on the couch so that we can see there are some gifts on the couch. And you're giving away this package. Yes. This yes. morning. So listen to us, folks. We'll be asking a question, and you can get away with all that. But what all do we have good. there? <laughs> so yes, so we have with us like um, a starter starter pack for your An Easter, Easter weekend. Easter wow. getaway <laughs> starter pack. Right. So first of all, just to, um, while you're if you're working throughout this weekend or using your computer, you have a desk humidifier, mm -hmm. which you can set beside your table, connect it. It's USB powered, so you can connect it to your computer, mm -hmm. and it will work to uh, humi dehumidify the, the environment and keep okay. you cooler. Keep you cool, yes. um, a rag, of course, a cup to keep you hydrated, a drawstring bag if you're traveling anywhere, mm -hmm. and, and, and a cooler bag to keep your mm -hmm. items cool while you um, travel around Belize's beautiful beaches. Mm. Wow. Oh, so oh. somebody can win that this morning. So right. listen well, and we'll throw a question out there later on, and you guys can call in right. and win it. Right. right, right. And let's go back to you. It's all about safety. Yeah, correct. So um, well, Katie is going to talk yes. a, a, a little about safety, but uh, it's, it is especially um, timely to have this discussion mm -hmm. around this time. You know, uh, Statistically, we have a, a lot more incidents happening during this time of year. So get right. could take it, take it over from here. So morning again, and thanks for having us. Um, so when we think of safety at BL, it's our first priority. It's embedded in everything that we do, right? Um, as Emmanuel said, it is one of our core values where we never compromise on safety. Mm -hmm. So we try to ensure that our employees get the message, and we also share the message with our customers and the general public as well. So when we're thinking about the Easter holiday, you know, everybody may be, most people may be leaving their homes via the roadways, and you think of road safety, right? You think of ways in which you can ensure that you and your family are safe. And the first thing is the vehicle, making sure that your vehicle is roadworthy, right? right? You check the tires. Check your tires check before go the to brakes. repair people. <laughs> exactly. Check your tire, check your spare. Make exactly. sure you have the, the jack in the vehicle. I know tire, but no jack, and you can't change your tire. Can't change mm -hmm. it, right? Um, the brakes, making mm -hmm. sure the lights for if you're driving at night, mm -hmm. you, you have lights working. And then you check the fluid levels, your water, your oil, all of these things you need right. to check. And then you make your decision because you want to make sure that when you leave home, either today, tomorrow, whenever, you get back, 
right? And that's one of the things we tell employees. The, the objective of our safety program is when you leave home, you get back home with your 10 fingers, your 10 toes, both eyes, you know, all of these things. Um, another thing um, is driving and talking on the phone. At BL, we prohibit that. I saw a woman riding a motorcycle, a one hand on the handle, a one on the board. Right. You know, it just careless. careless, exactly. It just takes one distraction and it could mean the you know, someone's life. Mm -hmm. And so you have to remember when you're behind the wheels, <clears throat> you're not only driving for yourself, but you're also mm -hmm. ensuring the safety of the occupants and the other users of the roadway. Mm -hmm. So we don't encourage driving and talking on the phone. What we tell our employees is that if you get a phone call, you pull over the road, you pull off the road safely, right? Once it's safe to do so, you pull over and you can take the call. If not, you wait until you reach your destination and you return the call. Mm -hmm. And for those, and I've done it before, if Emmanuel is my passenger, I could say, Emmanuel, please answer that call for me and just let them know that I'll return mm -hmm. the call. Mm -hmm. You know, something like that. Mm -hmm. Again, safety at everything you do. You can't, you can't have fun. Your, suppose your boyfriend <laughs> calls you and you know that call is important because he's, <laughs> he's going to tell you, mm -hmm. to tell you, look, if you don't answer this one call, you're not the same with the Holy Star. Well, then if I guess I know I say I know. If they care about you, if you love the yes. person, then you will understand that safety comes first. Yes. You know? but and he would have known. <laughs> but he would have known that, okay, <clears throat> this is how I operate, and so please, if I'm driving, mm -hmm. understand that I will return your call, right? Yeah. So, call yeah. is coming back. Exactly. But uh, I think it's accepted though if you have the, the Bluetooth in the vehicle. Recently, uh, yeah, the yeah, law has been passed, that. right? But we're still... But um, I agree. I agree. We, we're yeah. still not there as yet. We, are, we have a motor vehicle policy, and so we abide by, by that. Because even that could be a distraction, yes. you know, if you're, if you're tuned into a conversation on your headset. And the boy says, I don't see you no more. Correct. I mean, you know, like, exactly. especially women, they get all crazy when it comes to that. Right. <laughs> and another thing is buckling up, <clears throat> buckling up, right? Um, and it's for everybody in the vehicle too. Again, with the law that has been revised, so all true. occupants need to be wearing the seatbelt. Seat if you listen to the news, how many times you read tomorrow that the, the passenger so much flung out of the vehicle? Yep, yeah. Or they, they, they die in the vehicle yes. because mm -hmm. they were not strapped in. Yes. I know you don't like it, but you have, especially when you're driving. And another thing, if you notice, usually the driver doesn't die. Yep. Pass, yep. You know why? He's because strapped in. Not only, no, he mm -hmm. may not be strapped in, but he has something to hold on to. He has a yeah. steering wheel yes. that goes on yes. to that keeps him well, as steady as he can. He's not controlling the vehicle, mm -hmm. right. but he doesn't fly around. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The, the passengers don't, right. so they do. And you, you get, you get, well, right. really shaken up right. inside the vehicle, but if you have on your belt, that doesn't happen. Exactly. And then the last thing, if you're going to drink, do not drive. Boy, you're right? Sure. <laughs> if you're going to be under the influence mm -hmm. of no, alcoholic no, no, beverages, no, no, no. do not drive. No, no. Have a designated driver or mm -hmm. something like that, right? We really cannot overemphasize the importance because we have a lot of accidents as a result of, you know, That's drinking true. and driving. That is so right? true. Now, when you think of Easter, <coughs> you have to get your toes wet, right? Mm -hmm. I know I'm looking forward to getting mine wet. Mm -hmm. And so we also encourage um, safety as it relates to swimming, right? Um, one of the first things we want to do is jump in the water head first. You don't know how deep the water is. You don't know what's down there. You don't right. exactly. And mm -hmm. that's an injury or even Swimming in rivers. Death, right? I think and that's especially true for people who are not familiar with certain water bodies. Yes. I know I, I had a relative who um, came in from the US. They saw the water at the split in Kikaka. Mm. It looks shallow. They don't see the current, jump in, and it was almost a disaster. So it doesn't really, you can't just use your eyes, you right. know, you have to really know what's happening and maybe put one foot in first. Yes. See what right. happens. <laughs> yes. Walk in mm -hmm. or something like that. You know, and don't swim alone. Mm -hmm. Right? Definitely not. Yeah. And kids, right. please make sure they're supervised. 
right? And then if your other general safety tips, you're going out dining, make the restaurant know if you have allergies. You are out in a different area you don't know, make sure you know where the medical you know, centers are if you mm -hmm. need to get there immediately. Mm -hmm. All of these things we, we try to encourage. And then the heat. Now today a little cool, yeah. right? We're mm -hmm. thankful for the little cool weather. Yes, a weak cold yes. front. But you know, stay hydrated, right? And, and, make and beer is not a hydration. <laughs> no, it is not. Of course, give me a beer. No, <laughs> it is not. I've heard that. It's not. So water always keeps you cool. And then outdoors. If you're going to be outdoors, use sunblock, reef-friendly sunblock, mm -hmm. though. Ocean-friendly, reef-safe reef sunblock. And stay in cool, shaded areas, right? So these are some of the safety tips that we want to share with our mm -hmm. you know, customers, the viewers out here, so that families can remain safe while we have fun. Because you can have fun mm -hmm. yes. safely, so many right? To think about, right? <laughs> yeah. right. Okay. Yes. I mean, it's just little things and little intentional habits that mm -hmm. we have to develop um, that makes a huge difference. Yeah. yeah. You know, I, I always have to big up BEL because they always think about safety. I remember, like, even like in flood times, you know, you're always reminding people, you know, to look out for power lines yes. or not to drive through water or, and different things like that. Um, and like you mentioned, it is one of the core tenants that you yes. guys tend to follow. I think about how dangerous the, the product that you work with is. Oh, yes. yeah. um, and, and the potential for so many hazards, but because mm -hmm. you put this safety first, you right. know, it's very seldom that we, you know, yes. thank God yes. Yes. that uh, we hear of any, uh, you know, situations happening. Yes. Right. And, and this just goes to show that if we're careful, you know, there's so much mm -hmm. of the tragedies that happen every day that we we indeed. can avoid. Yes, indeed, indeed. indeed. At BL, we talk about uh, a culture mm -hmm. of safety. And yes. it's embedded in the in the very culture that we, who we are as BL yeah. and who we are as as employees of BL. Yeah. And we want to share some of that exactly. with the public as well. We, we have a question. We could be going to sleep before <laughs> um, we continue our chat. Emmanuel so, is now. <laughs> so, um, so going going into the Easter, as Kita mentioned, there will be a lot of us uh, out. No, and in line with staying safety, the other uh, main topic to consider during this Easter time is energy conservation, mm -hmm. you know, um, especially during the, I mean, the heat is on. We are passing through, uh, 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 we were passing through one of the hottest months ever, it, ever true. recorded in right. history. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, mm -hmm. 2023 was actually the hottest year ever recorded. So, and we've been recording um, weather since 1979. Mm -hmm. wow. So, and it was the hottest year. And this year looks no different. Mm -hmm. Month after month, we're breaking records for the hottest months yeah. ever recorded. And so, with that, that has implications, of course, mm -hmm. on the energy consumption and the energy services infrastructure. Um, but even outside of that, B B BL is always promoting energy conservation because, first, it impacts the customers. Mm -hmm. It has mm -hmm. a direct impact on the customers by lowering their electricity bill. And so in line with that, we want to, wanted to have this conversation during this time and have callers, give callers an opportunity as well to call in and answer this question. While we, while we continue to have this conversation on energy conservation, we want to know how five tips on how they are conserving energy this Easter time. Tell us five ways that you conserve energy this Easter time, yeah. or maybe throughout the year. But right, right, <laughs> right. Okay. right. Exactly. Call us at 203 exactly. 2098, 203 2281, or 203 That's 2098 2281 with 203 in front. Okay, quick. there's somebody not, <laughs> not wasting their energy. Not wasting any time. <laughs> Uh -oh. Hello, caller. Uh, we oh, lost, we call. lost them. Call us back, please. Uh, you know, you, you mentioned something important there too, Emmanuel. I think a lot of us are aware that of how important it is to um, conserve energy at home. But when we're visiting um, resorts or other people's Hello. homes... <coughs> Hello, good morning. Good morning. You, you sound too bright for this early in the morning. <laughs> 
try, please? Sure, you go ahead. How you save energy at home? Besides okay, putting your okay. husband outside. Well, to oh. laundry. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Don't do small loads. Just do all the laundry. Uh -huh. And um, that way they don't have to um, wash and leave it, and leave it, and leave it, and it burn a lot of energy. Then, <clears throat> when you're not um, in the room, mm -hmm. in any room, you turn off the light. Yes. The I hate when people not do that. Honestly. Go ahead. Then, um, when you're picking your clothes, you iron all what you need for the week if possible. You can also stay the iron. And then with the fan, you have on the fan because it's hot. If you have something to go do outside or you're going out or whatever, you turn off the fan. Mm -hmm. And even with the TV or the radio, you're, mm -hmm. you're going out, you, you are not listening to it, you turn it off. <clears throat> and the TV, as, with me, after I listen to the news, I turn it off. Well, except only if you have on love, then you will lift it on. That's how I put on the radio. Yeah. Then. <laughs> Excellent. Ex I, those were that, perfect. Yeah. Those, yes, I could right. have said it that's better right. myself. Yes, yes. And yeah. they're simple, that's right. simple things. Simple. And those are actually tips that, like that I don't normally think about. Like, I don't right. think that let's just take I, all mm -hmm. the ironing out of the I think, way. I think this color maybe follows DL's page as <laughs> I well. I think so, <laughs> yes, I think so. <laughs> so but yeah. one thing DL didn't and tell me... Help me make I, um, my bill not high. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. right. That's really important. Okay, caller. Um, what's your name there? Delverine Doheny. Delverine Doheny? Delverine. Delverine. Delverine, yes, sir. Delverine Doheny. Where does Delverine pick up her gift? She picks it up? Here. Here. She picks it up? Yeah. Delverine, you could pick up your, your gift bag here at Love TV, just at uh, Love FM. You know where we are, right? Yes, sir. I'm right here on your road. Oh, wow. Well, yeah, all right. There you go. You, re you ready with your pack? Yeah. Are you going anywhere for the Easter? I'm not sure because I don't usually make plans, but Saturday is my birthday, so let's wait and see. Okay. Well, all the best to you and have fun and be safe. They'll bring the Haney, pick up your gift here. Just bring an ID, okay? Okay. All the best and everybody. Please you please too, please. dear. You too. Enjoy Easter. Thank right. you. You're welcome. All right, that caller was very informed. Yeah. <coughs> Those are some of the tips that we actually came here to share with you guys as well. Um, she mentioned a really good one, uh, load, uh, washing full loads of laundry as opposed to small loads of laundry helps to reduce your energy consumption. Because whether you are washing a full load of laundry or a small load, you're still using the same amount of energy. Mm -hmm. So it's not per, you don't consume energy per load, but or rather per, per cycle, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. per the cycle, right? And then w what else did she mention? She mentioned as well turning off the light. Turning off your lights. If you're going out, yeah. especially this Easter, if you're going out, make sure your appliances are, are unplugged. That's a good one. Right. Mm -hmm. you unplug your appliances because while you might think that your your devices are, are turned off, how many of us leave our computers plugged in, leave yeah. our microwaves mm -hmm. plugged in? our coffee maker plugged in, all of these are consuming uh, standby energy while they're not being in use, but they're still consuming energy. Mm -hmm. You right. know, I am hyper aware of energy conservation because I had one of those dads that was like, turn off the light, turn right. off the fan, <laughs> stop going out of the fridge. Right. So very, always been very sensitive about it until I, I realized not everybody is like that. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. I know there are people who will aim um, spin dry a shirt so they don't have to iron wow. <laughs> and, and i'm like what's wrong with you people that's why i don't like build a 300 dollars a month come on right, now get right, it together right. <laughs> and and it's interesting because um so so bel hasn't rates haven't changed since like 2020 mm -hmm. and that's because at, at that point in time bl made a decision to um stay away from from increasing rates because we were in the pandemic if you can mm -hmm. remember 2020 mm -hmm and to gi give customers that, li that ease as we come out of the pandemic, right? Um, and rates have stayed the same since. In fact, rates have stayed the same, stable or more or less the same. They have remained stable for um, more than, for like more than 10 years, mm -hmm. 13 years, I think, they've remained stable. Um, they're even cheaper right now than, than they were at, in the 80s, for example. Um, so that's something telling, right? But what's changing? It's our consumption yeah. trends are changing. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Our devices, yeah. You, yeah. even the watch I'm wearing right now is, is, is yeah. with, with electricity, no? It's powered mm -hmm. by electricity. So our consumption, our habits are changing. So we always 
want to talk about energy conservation because it's important to empower customers to have this information to be able to make the right decisions to benefit their lives right yeah. because and we're not don't get me wrong we're not telling customers don't use energy uh, or, or go back to a prehistoric era when <laughs> nothing is energy is electricity right mm -hmm. what we're saying yes use energy use electricity but use it responsibly mm -hmm. and be conscious mm -hmm. and aware of how you're using it yeah. so that you can continue to, to do all of the nice things mm -hmm. that you love mm -hmm. to do with electricity mm -hmm. while reducing in some areas that you might not need yeah. unnecessary energy consumption yeah. Yeah. right yeah. Yeah. and especially this is especially important during this time that we were are going through a heat wave and as we go into the easter holidays right as more activities we will see more activities in places like san pedro mm -hmm. um, in places like kikaker placencia these places that are known to um to have these activities mm -hmm. around this time yeah. here so we'll see an increased um, level of consumption uh, increased activities and with the heat as well increased um, energy usage yeah. Yeah. so mm -hmm. I, so it's very important to so keep I guess this in mind you, the BL would have to like uh, adjust its demand in these different areas how they supply electricity to well I, I'm sure the people in Placencia didn't just decide to have big bash they don't mm, consider yeah. the fact <laughs> this pulley generator have to <laughs> produce all this electricity so the thing about them, that you know, is so that BL has had its plans mm -hmm. to bolster its capacity right. and reliability do, yeah. Yeah. Um, in, in specific areas. Correct. And so w how these plans are made is through projections. We make long term projections about how the energy consumption trend is going to play out. Okay. Based on those projections, uh, there are very detailed studies that are done to determine <coughs> how we how wha how we, what we be. need to do what, yes. what the demand will be and yeah. how we will adjust that yeah. and there are right. plans in place um, currently to inst to increase the renewable in country capacity right. um, what <coughs> happened last year uh, mother nature has a mind of its own mm -hmm. climate change is mm -hmm. a yep. very real thing mm -hmm. And so while all of these plans were in place to be rolled out at a certain pace, at a certain phase, climate change says, no, hmm. we are in energies skyrocket in, the yeah. in 2023. Yeah. Yeah. And the energy consumption that we're now experiencing in San Pedro is the energy consumption that we had predicted for few years wow. from ahead of yes. us. For yeah. Correct, correct. And so now we are left with a situation where the capacity is in San Pedro is, is reaching its peak while the plans are still in its phase. Mm. We, we haven't fully installed oh, new capacity, yeah. although it, it, it is going into, pl into yeah. place as early as May. Mm -hmm. So in May we will have, um, we will we do have plans to put in place a temporary solution mm -hmm. with a mobile gas turbine going in, in place in San Pedro as early as May of okay, this year, yeah. which will greatly assist as we go into the summer heat. Mm -hmm. But of course, you know, climate change again, uh, March ended up being the hot month, yeah. the hot month, mm -hmm. right? So um, these are the things that, that we at BL have yeah. to manage all the time and yeah. we are managing it. And we are managing it by working with our stakeholders, with our partners, and working to expedite some of these processes and plans to get things in place to resolve the situation, right? Well said. I mean, it makes sense. So, Tamar, you know, you don't chill just one bottle of wine at a time. Put you them all out, in put there. Them, yeah, you chill all three of them. <laughs> yeah. Time. In fact, put yeah. them in the, the freezer for a couple hours, then you could take them out, right? Mm. No? Well, not in the freezer, no. Not the wine. Okay. No, I mean, Put at the bottom of the fridge. Okay. Why not not even my sparklers? Or oh, especially the sparklers. They're okay. not supposed to stay in the fridge too long. All right. Well, th those, so are, chill, those are yeah. separate tips. Those, <laughs> <laughs> those are my wine tips. <laughs> <laughs> We're talking about tips today. Yes. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I love to see the electricity. Mm. Uh, another good one is to is freeze your bottles. Exactly what you said. Uh, mm. Not necessarily wine, but okay. water. If you're to, to keep cool mm. during the day, to avoid going to the fridge. 
too many times, yeah. mm -hmm. freeze your bottle of water and then use it for an extended period of time. Yeah. Cool, mm -hmm. cool water it, for an extended it, period of yeah. time. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. remember doing this when I was in primary school. I would always go to school with my bottle frozen and I wouldn't mm. be able to drink it until <laughs> about 10 in the morning. <laughs> so, but yeah, these are some helpful yeah. tips. Uh, apart from the one that the caller mentioned, which are really yeah. good. Yeah. Right. So, and Tamara, you mentioned something very important when you go on vacations. Mm -hmm. Uh, a lot of people, a lot of us tend to um, not think about energy. You know, you pay your your four hundred dollar yeah. stay yeah. at your hotel, your resort, and you want to make the most of it. <laughs> blast Every out thing. the AC, yeah. <laughs> right, <laughs> right. But keep charging all your yeah. equipment right. to right. take right. everything exactly. you're looking for. Yeah. Outlets all over the yeah. place. Yeah. Even the the water you left, left on. Yeah. yeah. Even it's water you left, left leave it running in. on. Yeah. But you know, we have to be more conscious about what that what, what that, that means. impacts. Yes. What, that, what impact that has not only on the energy sector but more broadly on the environment right, right? Mm -hmm. and on climate change which is right. the, which is what led to the situation that we are in in the first place right excellent well, guys thank you very thank much you. for starting all the morning and uh, for our viewers and listeners for listening and watching thank you very very much uh, Katie? Katie. Katie. Katie with a D. Okay, yes. Katie, 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 Katie. Yes. Yeah, Katie. And uh, Emmanuel? Yes. With an M. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Correct. Thank you for coming in this morning. And of course, we, we appreciate your message. Mm -hmm. And I think Tamar has heeded your warnings and your advice. Mm. But after then, two bottles of wine, I, I can't promise anything. So <laughs> I, I think yes. Tamar will start washing full loads now. Yeah. I, will, I will. I'll try. I'll try. Yeah. Just because my favorite dress is dirty doesn't mean I have to put a load in, right? Right. 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 Correct. Right. Correct. You could wash it on hand. All right. Uh, we take a break now. When we come back, Ernesto? Yeah, we have the six. Um, no, sorry. We have look at coastal zone management. Of course, a lot of us will be along the coast. Um, this the, on the on the Easter period, so we'll be talking a little bit about that, and uh, about sports fishing and the proper sports fishing practices. We'll be right back.
to the morning show, and it's uh, what time we have? Seven minutes after seven it's o'clock. Seven minutes after seven. In the studios, we have with us uh, Victor Show, who is uh, from the Coastal Zone Management Authority and Institute, and uh, Kelly Ralston from the Bonefish and Tarpon Trust. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, I don't know. I have a first. We got a, <laughs> what are we going to talk about? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so today we want to touch a bit on the working relationship between the Bonefish and Tarpon Trust and Coastal Zone Management Authority and Institute and how that will impact sport fishing management for the country of Belize. Oh. And we're also going to tie it in a bit to Easter because <laughs> around Easter time is when we have a lot of guys going out to fish. We, mm. We're eating fish, we're fishing recreationally, mm -hmm. having beach barbecues mm -hmm. and whatnot. So it's just a good reminder to fish within the laws of the country, you know. So, um, this specifies sports fishing. Mm -hmm. um, I, I didn't realize that we differentiated between different fishing types or styles. Um, can you maybe talk to us about what the difference between the, I don't know what they are. Yeah, so <laughs> um, in, in Belize, we have sport fishing defined by our laws. They include le fishing for leisure, recreation, or competition. And then there's commercial fishing where you're fishing mm -hmm. to make a profit. So you're going out, mm -hmm. catching 500 mm -hmm. pounds of fish, going to local markets, selling that. That's commercial fishing. Mm -hmm. Sport fishing is you're still making money, but you're doing it in a different way. So you're, most of the times it's catch and release. You get some tourists coming in, some um, foreigners that they want to go enjoy the Belizean sea, throw some lines, catch some fish, release those, that fish, but you're paying for that experience. And then you have the fish guides who then charge a premium fee for that. So that's the main difference for, for Belizeans now. Um, recreational, we do fishing recreationally. You have, we, we'll go out on a boat as family, catch some fish, do some beach barbecue, maybe mm -hmm. have some, a couple drinks, enjoy the sun, enjoy the water and whatnot. Um, so that's the, the biggest difference. One is catching, to sell the fish, the other is just, this is a part of either tradition and um, cultural significance to us, or it's, um, related to the tourism industry. Okay. Now, commercial fishing requires a license. Mm -hmm. What are the regulations when it comes to sports fishing? I'm glad you asked. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we're here. So, yeah, you need a license to do sport fishing in Belize. Um, the exemptions are if you're under the age of 65, you're a Belizean or in the possession of a permanent residency card for Belize. You don't need to buy a license. And if you're over the age of 65, and wait, a Belizean. Wait, come again. I don't need a license then. No. If you're going to ask you your age, but... No, yeah. you said under 65. <laughs> over 65. Over 65. If I'm you over 65, I don't need one? Right. No. Oh. Or under, is it 16? Or under 16. Yes. So, or under 16. if I want to a lead line, I need a license? You, yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so... Um, uh, <clears throat> the, when you say throw a lead line, mm -hmm. so, for the most part, we focus on the tourism-related activities. But um, we are also in the process of redoing the regulations for that same point right there. The regulation has a one size fit all at the moment, meaning one license applies across the board, local or foreigners. The stakeholders has flagged that's an issue. How could you charge a Belizean the same fee to access their Belizean resources as you ch charge a foreigner? So we are doing public consultations right now to redo the sport fishing regulations, and that's the public consultation next one is in May, but this process will be concluded by November 2025 when the new regulations will come into effect. And this is part of a greater process the government is doing, so the Blue Bonds <coughs> Agreement. If I'm, if I'm staying at a yeah. local resort yeah. and I ask the front desk, listen, I want to take a fishing trip with my friends. Um, who, who, how do I get a license to go fish at 11 a.m. on this Saturday? <laughs> You can get it online, so it's available online, debit card, credit card. You could get it from an agent, so we have a listing of agents that sell it. Some hotels actually sell it. So let me get this clear. So nobody that's listening and going out to the Keys or anywhere right now should be fishing. can get into a dory or a small boat and go out a few feet, a few hundred yards into the ocean and With a hook and line. line. They're, they're, that's, that's not allowed. That, that subsistence <coughs> fishing if you're going out with a No, no, hook. no, I'm going with my friends, like she says. Yeah, and I know, I know people are going to do that. Yeah. They're yeah, going so to go yeah. out there, and they're going to go out, and 
drink beer and throw a line. I, I go fishing, we're going fishing. They, yeah, if they we come catch, we here. catch, if we don't, we don't. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. we're going fishing. And if the Coast Guard or whoever comes up, yeah, you can need you be a, arrested? You can, um, you need a sport fishing license um, to do that sort of fishing if you're going out as a family or whatnot. But, and they, this comes with the differentiation. You said hook and line. When you do sport fishing, you're using fly rods, yeah, pin rods, real, yeah. and whatnot. We are, you're not using hook and line, no, and that's no, one of yeah, the descriptions that we're going to Exactly. Yeah, so, a, the, um, is that they, allowed or not allowed? Of course that's allowed. Yeah. Well, that's okay. Yes, that's okay, okay with, 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 a, with a hook and line. But and if I use a rod and a reel? That's because you have the gear for to do fly fishing, at flat fishing. So yes, that's recreational fishing, sport fishing. Okay. okay. So it's not enough careful. if the resort or the guide is licensed? Um, the that's guide has to be licensed. Uh -huh. And I, well, I, I strongly that. suggest that you use a licensed um, guide to do any sort of if fishing. If I have family coming, yeah, and I have a son and he want to go fishing, you know, and of course we're this going to hire... This is specific, we're but... <laughs> to, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah Sounds like you might have a plan. Yeah, they have a plan. I mean, he goes out to the key. Mm -hmm. He hires a, a boat and a guide to take him fishing. That's okay. Yeah, because he the guide, personally the guide, have to have a license. He has to have a license, but the guide, if you hire a proper guide, the guide yes. will let you know that a part of carrying or paying for the ship, you're paying for the ship, some of them charge you for that license right away. So that's okay, incorporated so in that, that cost. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, or some of them will say, you know, um, to go on the ship, you'll need to buy a license. And a license isn't um, all that expensive. It's, I believe it's 10 um, US for one day. 20 US for and the guide can get that for me. Yes, the guide oh, could, okay. get, um, could get could get us online that's or whatnot. Understood. But I, can't, um, I don't. How do I know that he's bought my license? Does he because have to you'll give get me a, a copy of it. Yes, you'll get a copy of it. So we'll send if you buy it online. We'll email you the verification that you did have a license and a copy, mm -hmm. a virtual copy of the mm -hmm. license. And um, if you want a printed copy, you'd have to go to the office. But we are in the electronic age. I mean, you don't have to have paper on you. I, I don't think you'd want to have all uh, these licenses on you and you're on a boat in the water and whatnot. Yeah. But you will get a email with a copy of the license verifying that it was bought. We're gonna get we're gonna talk to Kelly in a bit, but I'm a little I'm a little shook. Yeah. Yeah, right? Good. Because well, I'm glad. <laughs> you know I, I I was recently on a fishing trip um, mm -hmm. and technically the guide was a fisher. I he just let me read it in, you know. Yeah. So, I mean, was I in violation? Like, he threw the line. I, he was like, you want to reel this one in? Well, she's used to guys throwing lines. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. She, so, you, you the, like you said, the guy went out to fish and you just wanted to no, get it a was picture. No, like it, it was a fishing excursion. Yes, that's... And there were, like, maybe, like, four rod and reels. So, he handed you the reel after no, the they fish were was like hooked. No, they were, like, put on the, they were, like, stem on the boat. Yeah. Right? He had yeah. them. And then he threw each one. And mm -hmm. then when he got a bite, he let me reel it in. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so <laughs> when when you go out on those kind of fishing tours, and I think what you're referring to is when you're on those bigger boats that go pelagic um, or to the deeper mm. sea. Cause you no, can't no, no, it was, it was like a little f within the reef fishing a reef, thing. Uh, yeah, so that's, a lot of people just do that, I should you know, clarify get together this. in crowds. Yeah, because there's, the there's three ones. types. There's yeah. flat fishing where you use fly rods. Mm -hmm. There's reef fishing, the one you're talking about, and there's pelagic fishing which similar to what you're talking about, bigger boats and those are off the reef. Um, when you go fishing, the guy that's the fisher mm -hmm. has to have the license. Mm -hmm. But if you're just reeling it in or you're taking okay. a picture at the fish, you don't need a license. Okay. Um, <laughs> All right. Uh, I didn't but, break the law. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, come look for you. I, I, not in the time, I'd also want to give Kelly an opportunity <laughs> oh to present <laughs> some of the work that one fish and I'm fishing off the foreshore, I need a license. Um, I know, I know. In fact, I just ate some fish that a friend of mine mm -hmm. catch yeah. out the foreshore. With a bucket and a rod and reel. And mm -hmm. a rod and reel, yeah. And in yeah. fact, he ha owns a boat and he's a lot more successful many times. Out I'll, the, I'll, out strongly, the wall I'll strongly than suggest boat. that he has a, a, a license. Wait, did you bought fish off that person? No, no, no. He, he, he came over, I invited him for a beer and he brought some fish. He said, I just catch this off a day. All right. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. Because if he's, if he's catching fish and he's going to consume that fish, that's subsistence fishing. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to. Remember, when we're talking sport fishing, we're talking for fun, for recreation. A lot of times you yeah. release you that fish. You fish. catch and release it. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Not everyone eats the fish. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. So I don't want to s confuse that or confuse the audience between that and when you're doing subsistence fishing. I mean, you're going out there to a shoreline. So you're still going to have a good time, but you're 
ultimately getting that fish to oh, care yeah, for to, to barbecue no, no, no. or, no, no. This, or this, whatnot. No, this is a friend. He owns his boat. He loves fishing. I mean, mm. he yeah, he just loves it. Hmm. He has a boat, but sometimes he doesn't go out. He just wants he to. Just, he has a special yeah, spot so on, it, on, on, it, on, it, on, it, on the wall. On the same <laughs> side, I see he, it. He will be good for a double license. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, there's a, there, and if you're a tour guide, the license is free. It expires along with your tour guide license. Okay. So for your friend that was a tour guide, mm -hmm. he could get his license for free if he didn't have it. Mm. Um, and as long as you have a valid tour guide license, we provide that um, and expires along with each other. All right. It says here, our mission is to conserve bonefish, tarpon, and permit. <laughs> oh, look, you go. Species, <laughs> the habitats, and the larger fisheries that they comprise. We pursue this mission across the southeastern U.S., Gulf of Mexico, and the Caribbean through science-based conservation, education, and advocacy. This yes. is the mission, of course, of the... Born Fish and Tarpon Trust. It is, it is. Thank you so much, first off, for having us today. So appreciate the <laughs> time. Pleasure. Why, why specifically Born Fish Tarpon and Trust? So we, um, our organization is a 25-year-old NGO, non-government organization. We were um, established in the Florida Keys really to look at bonefish declines. So okay. in the 90s, we saw really str strong drops in the numbers of bonefish there, and it was a bit of a mystery. Nobody really knew why. Um, so we started working on kind of the science aspect of that and doing Who research. Is we? All of our organizations. So we have um, a staff. I actually focus on policy efforts, and then we yeah. have a staff of scientists. Um, we have in in country scientists here in Belize that also work in Mexico. We have international mm -hmm. programs also in the Bahamas and do cooperative work in Cuba as well as in um, the United States. But but. Um it's an NGO, mm -hmm. so it's financed by some organization. Yeah, we, we operate off of grants. We also operate of individual um, memberships okay. um, and large-scale donations as okay. well. So we have kind of a, a very diverse uh, approach there. And, and we work on everything from direct fisheries issues, so what's going on with bonefish, what's going on specifically with tarpon or permit. Those are our three mm -hmm, mm -hmm. key flat species. Mm -hmm. But as you read, it's much broader than that, right? We, we also want to look at kind of the, the broader environment and ecosystem that support those fisheries. And so Belize is really important because it's such a destination um, for anglers across the world. I mean, you really are kind of the place to go um, for those three species. And, um, and so working with Victor um, and Coastal Zone um, has been really exciting for us to establish this, this MOU. Um, to help support them in their important work that they're doing. Um, and I'll also make a plug for the licensing because I know Victor won't do it, but the licensing fees go right back into Coastal Zone to work on sport fishing management mm -hmm. um, in, in the country. So knowing the economic driver that it is, it's 240 Belizean million Belize Belizean dollars, so 120 million U.S., that that, that sport fishing industry brings to the country of Belize. So it's so really important. what do you important. recommend? What are you recommending to Victor and his organization yeah. so we can preserve the bone fish and tarpon? So we've been working with them to help support um, a few different areas. One, um, research and monitoring, since we were started as a science organization. Mm -hmm doing the research, the habitat um, information that they require, water quality, as well as technical assistance um, that we can provide for them to consider in their management strategies. We've been um, helpful um, on the working group that's been looking at the sport fishing regulation revisions. Um, but also education and outreach. I mean, as you see, there's mm -hmm. a lot that people don't know, right? And so we've been working to develop some strategies um, and support for Coastal Zone to be able to get that message out there about the sport fishing licenses, about why um, the flats fishery, um, as well as all of our sport fishing um, fisheries here in Belize are important. And so we, we had a great set of meetings. It was lovely to be back in country this week to talk about kind of specifics on the MOU and how we can help execute and be supportive. Yeah. What's but, your population like of the born fish and tarpon? Is it um, it's, well, oh, gosh. I, I should say for Belize, mm. it's protected by law. Yes. Mm -hmm. I know that. One yes. Of that, so they, um, it depends on where, you, where you're talking. So some stakeholders say that over, I'll give you an example. So for Turnif being a um, protected area, some stakeholders say that the bonefish size has been increasing over time because okay. it's protected. And um, the gillnets were banned in Belize, mm -hmm. which you know that was netting a lot of the fish. Some other areas, they say that the bonefish are getting smaller, but that could have 
that could just be because there were developments so they lost some of the habitat. So even if the fish is protected, if you lose the habitat, mm -hmm. yeah. you, you know, it, it compromises right. the, the size of the fish. Um, but I haven't heard that there has been a dramatic decline mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. the fishery, but there has some, there, and we're trying to figure out why, but there seems to be some of the fish have moved and that could have been just a climate change. See, the temperature of the sea has risen, so where the fish once were, they moved to a more cooler location. Um, mm -hmm. So that's the kind of stuff that we want to figure out mm -hmm. through collaborative work. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And I'll just do a shameless plug here. We have a <laughs> summer camp um, coming up during the summer for kids um, within coastal communities to teach them how to fish. We provide the rods, the reels, the shirts because you need, you need it. Um, and don't forget the hats. The hats. The, hat hats. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> the, the hats and the shirts to keep them protected from the sun, sun yeah. uh, and the food. And we even have professional guides that have been guiding for 20 plus years to come and teach them how to cast, how to tie the lines and whatnot. It's a good experience for the kids getting Belizeans to enjoy the natural resources um, of the country free of cost to them. So the, the, the practice then is to catch and release, mm -hmm. is that it? That's the basic. Um, for, for, for the, for for the want, three species. Yeah, for those yes, three species those three. in yeah, particular. Could, um, and so this if is somebody offers me tarpon meat or, 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 or one fish, <laughs> give us a call. Call Victor. Yeah, yeah, give us a yeah. call because that, that so shouldn't be Those are proper. prohibited. Those that, are yeah, you, and we have signs at all local markets. If you go at Kong Shell Bay, mm -hmm. right at the side, there's a sign um, right there that says you can't catch these three fish species. It's protected mm -hmm. by law. Mm -hmm. um, Okay, so you mentioned that in the 90s the decline was recorded, mm -hmm. um, but that has since improved? It, in the Keys, yes, it has dramatically. Um, in fact, we, much like Victor was expressing, we've seen larger um, and, and uh, higher population of bonefish in the Keys as well. They're a little bit, you asked about a specific number, like how many are there? Um, and because they're protected, which is great for, the, for their populations overall, it does make it difficult to assess from a scientific standpoint because some of the information that would go into kind of determining how many fish are out there is related to how many fish are caught. Um, well, and yeah, that, yeah, yeah, and so that's a little bit, <laughs> little bit more challenging. So it's that it makes it harder to put an exact number on it. But those protections are so important to make sure that we have a sustainable fishery, given the importance of it economically, in particular. You mentioned Turnif. Are there other identified breeding areas for specifically the tarpon and bonefish? Um, I, I'll be honest, the best, <coughs> the best persons to tell you where all the inertia habitats are are stakeholders. Mm -hmm. So this year we're going to work with the stakeholders to sort of, um, do a property stepper mapping okay. to gather that information um, and to sort of doc start document that to ensure that development isn't compromising mm -hmm. these key mm -hmm. areas. Mm -hmm. So how That's do we know when, when, it's, when they can be removed from the endangered list or the well, they're not endangered, and so I think that's yeah. the that's the idea, right? We want to make sure that they stay yeah. that way, and they, so they, the idea is that they would remain protected. So it's they not would remain protected despite the population. Well, mm -hmm. uh, and that's two things. So the first one, and uh, all the recreational sport fishers listening in the audience <laughs> might thinking, Victor, you better speak up on this. Uh, <laughs> the reason it was protected in the first place was to secure the longevity of the sector. Mm -hmm. So it was protected. Um, to ensure that the fishers and, and their clients had fish to catch so that it could continuously attract clients to come to Belize. Mm -hmm. High end, low impact tourism is essentially what it was yeah. protected to secure. Um, because a regular fishing trip, and I don't know if maybe your friend didn't charge you, but if you want a um, I didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> if you want a top guide doing flat fishing for bonefish type and permit in Belize, you're looking at a wrong 500 to 600 US a day. Mm. Um, so the guides, um, it was protected to sort of secure that long yeah. um, term livelihood for the guides. So it wasn't something the government decided to do. All the guides farmed the association, they lobbied the government to give that protection because they knew how much it meant for them, how mm -hmm. much it meant for their communities. Um, so a lot yeah. of the guys listening today will be. You, if you ask to <laughs> unprotect those fish species, you're, you're going to have a, a, a hell of a fight. Yes, I know. I, I, I met especially permit down south. Mm. You know, the, the, yeah, these permit guys capital. protect yeah. Yeah, these, mm -hmm. these permits. They, they, they 
protect mm -hmm. that industry. Well, and it's such a magical experience. Yeah. I mean, to come to, to this gorgeous country and to get out on the water and, and to cast for them, to see them um, tailing, like in schooling, it's just, yeah. it really is something special. Um, yeah. For me, it looks just like a piranha, you know? <laughs> <laughs> a very large piranha, yeah. yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thankfully, they don't eat your arm off. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, Belize is celebrated as one of the best permit locations yeah. globally. Mm -hmm. So if you would just Google top 10 flat fishing destination, I believe we're ranked second or third right now. Mm -hmm. Just a testament to how good our fishery is and the fact that we had it protected, but also how good our guiding community is. Yes. Because a lot of people come here to catch the inshore Grand Slam or the inshore Super Grand Slam, which involves the two protected species and snook. Mm -hmm. do, 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 can you fish for all three in the same vicinity um, or these fish are well, Generally, there's they're relative they're overlap. Like I wouldn't yeah, say Democrats they're the exact. And Republicans in the U.S. They keep together. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> no, no, no. Fish doesn't recognize any boundaries, but they are. No, no. What I mean is, do they keep to their own terri territory and so on? Yeah, like, um, well, the because down south is permit home range, but yeah. but um, you'll also catch a tarpon or bonefish in the same neighborhood. Yeah, mm -hmm. so Dong Sot is known for a permit, but mm -hmm. Ternif actually has good permit fishing as well. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, there does seem to be a gradient yeah, in the country. Yeah, there's sort of a gradient, but that might just be what they prefer. So, like, you'd catch a tarpon, can survive almost everywhere. Mm -hmm. So a tarpon, they are one of the few fish that, um, have you guys ever seen a tarpon roll come up to the surface and just roll on this surface. I have not. Have only, that. Only on the uh, but when I got a video, I'll show you. <laughs> when, when they're young, they could actually go up and gulp air. air oh, yeah. Like how we breed air. Uh -huh. So a tarpons can actually survive in some very fairly harsh environment. Yeah, I've seen, um, I, I've seen that. This, they can go up the river, which is fresh water, and they can survive at sea, which is salt water. Mm -hmm. So the tarpon is a very hardy fish. Um, so yes, you could. that one has a lot of overlap. Um, bonefish, I hear bonefish is more popular up north and mm -hmm. permit is more popular down south. Mm -hmm. yeah. Not to say you won't get permit this side and yeah. bonefish mm -hmm. this side, mm -hmm. but it's just but the, the, more, yeah. the density of them. Yeah. Yeah, but oh. you could still, if you're in central Belize, if you're fishing around Ternif, you could get a Grand Slam mm -hmm. there. So, in closing, <laughs> um, what is it we need to remember, especially that this is, I want to say, fishing season or, you know, mm -hmm. So yeah, you can't, you can't please be, yeah. buy your license. <laughs> yeah, buy your license if you're gonna go out on a tour. But please don't eat bonefish tarpon or permit. There you go. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> thank you, Doctor. And they're protected by they're protected by law. Uh, um, uh, and I'd also just want to remind everyone that we're working with um, Coastal Zone isn't working in installation. We're working with international partners mm -hmm. and local partners on the ground. So in our technical working group, we have community representatives. Um, I. I'll just shout them out real quick before we close off. So we ha on it from Dong so we have Dennis Carbot, uh, um, a strong figure when it comes to conservation and mm. rick fishing Dong so yes. He worked Garbot, his brother, for Placenza region. Omar Arceo and Billy Leslie for San Pedro. Greg Hayes for Turn F. Um, Kelly and um, for BTT. And we also have Nick and Quenya for EDF. So we have a very dynamic group of guys working on the regulations to try to get the best possible outcome for Belizeans. Okay. By exactly. Belizeans, for, for Belizeans. Belizeans. Yeah. Absolutely. We'll protect these. Uh, I'm not hearing anything about the land fish anymore, so they're okay. I, last <laughs> I heard, they were a uh, yeah, dangerous species for the area. And yeah, they don't um, attack the tarpon. And they, they, well, they, the land fish can't go up to fresh water, <laughs> so the tarpons yeah. are safe. Yeah. But um, the land fish is something being addressed by the fishes department. I don't believe that we um, it's as heavily impacted on these three fish species mm -hmm. because we're talking flats and the lionfish is around reef. Yeah, they yeah. like structure, so, so any, yeah, any so, kind of structure. So the lionfish will be around the reef, but when we're talking flats, we're talking sandy, muddy bottom, or maybe seagrass. Okay. And you can eat the lionfish. Oh, the yeah, lionfish that's taste right. really yeah, I've, good. I've had them on the yes. It's nice. It's yeah, a bit, need, it's a bit a saltier a than the regular, like a yeah. regular snapper, but it's really nice. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, fish it is. It is. It is well, thank um, you very much, uh, and of course, uh, uh, Kelly, you're enjoying your stay here. I, I will. Okay. I'm, I'm disappointed to have to leave today, but I look forward oh, to coming back short soon. Yes. Stay for the Easter and go fishing if you had a permit. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Victor will yeah, make sure yeah. I do. <laughs> yeah. And of course, Victor, thank you very much. Thanks. Thank uh, you. I will say hello to the tarpon and bonefish for us. <laughs> <laughs> I, I will. <laughs> I don't know how the same fish gets caught 
more than once. You know, the, the first time they get caught and released, they, they don't should know. Learn. They <laughs> should learn. Yeah. And <laughs> I've seen this happen. I, actually, mm -hmm. in Michigan, in the yeah, lakes, they, they put these fish, these guys catch them and throw them back in. We have it in Florida and they, with Goliath the grouper, and they come up with the hooks in their mouths. <laughs> yep. And you're like, oh, wow, I've been there before. Thanks again yeah. very much. Thank you. Um, it is Easter, and uh, well, Easter is coming up, and there's going to be uh, Why Not Island will be quite happy. Yes. So from water sports to what's happening on the beach? Uh, water sports, you know. We'll be back. Just in a bottle. <laughs> we'll be back. Good morning. Warm weather will prevail today ahead of a cold front that will move across the country this evening and tonight. The forecast for today is for skies to be cloudy at times with isolated showers mainly offshore. Tonight, a few showers will affect southern districts along with the chance of an isolated thunderstorm. Winds over the open sea will be from the north to northwest at 10 to 20 knots with higher gusts. Seas will be moderate, becoming rough at times, and operators of small crafts should exercise caution. High temperatures this afternoon will be around 89 degrees Fahrenheit along the coast, 93 inland, but only 80 degrees up in the mountains. The outlook for Friday and Friday night is for partly cloudy skies with little or no rain except for the chance of light isolated showers over the south Friday morning. There was a low tide at 5.30 this morning and a high comes up at 11.16 also this morning. Another low is at 6.30 this evening and another high 12.38 tonight. The sun rose at 5.50 this morning and will set at 6.05 this evening. The moon goes down at 7.47 this morning and comes up again at 5 minutes after 9 tonight. In the fire risk forecast, the risk for forest fires remains high for today. In the sargasm update, sargasm amongst over the area remain relatively low with minimal to moderate impacts. With that, we end this report from the Belize Weather Bureau. Make light work lighter and quick.
right, folks, we're back and 20 minutes away from the hour of uh, 8 o'clock. And this is the morning show, and events will be happening, especially along the tourist areas and the more uh, coastal areas of the country. Mm -hmm. People will be migrating to those areas to enjoy the Easter holidays. Uh, no exception is, uh, I don't hear about why not Island Good while. I don't know why not, but uh, we'll hear about well, it this, this, this morning. Uh, yeah, and I think in, in any celebration season, um, it comes up, right? Mm -hmm. um, Belizeans love the South, especially for our extended weekends. Mm -hmm. um, it's going to be quite the event, I understand. And to tell us more about it, we have some guests with us in studios. We also have some of the artists performing on Zoom joining us this morning. So... Let me go ahead and welcome our, our guests that are in studios. We have Rafael Martinez. He is hosting the event. Yes, uh, Or one of the hosts. We have uh, Terry G. On the MRC. Uh-huh. Also <laughs> hosting. Yeah. And uh, we have Mr. 630. Uh, yeah. Mr. 630, <laughs> who is uh, <laughs> the promoter. <laughs> Uh, first, 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 the who was the first person to call you 6.30? And why? <laughs> well, uh, um, 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 not me, actually. It was, um, um, it was my grandfather's um, a nickname. Mm -hmm. um, the story goes, he had to be a farm for 6.30 and had to be back home for by 6.30. 630 so they nicknamed him um, 6.30. So it's his wife who <laughs> put on those rules, right? Yes, I guess. Yeah, I yeah. Yeah. Get out the house by 6.30, come back by 6.30. Had to have made, yes. Right. Yeah, nothing to do with how the man dance. No. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> there's actually a dance called the 632. 630, baby. So tell us, uh, you, so it's going to be a big bang in Greek at Dang. Why not? We'll be seizing hat. No second guessing can receive your Easter blessing right at the Why Not time. <laughs> Holy Saturday. <laughs> right. right at the Why Not. We have spared no expenses, folks. Am I talking about the promoter, Mr. Augustine, from 630 Entertainment? It's called the Beable Bash because Beable means beachside in, in Garifuna. Got and, that right? And, yeah, right, Raf? Mm -hmm. Major Raf in the house. Talk to me. Why uh, tell us something? I mean, I've been hosting quite a few of the uh, concerts so far. We've been down, all the way down in PG doing the Battle of the Drums. Uh, mm -hmm. We did the uh, After Bash concert. And of course, we used to do the Holy Saturday, uh, uh, what do you call it, the um, Paranda Fest. But then, like, but look, at that one of my favorite places, you know, mm -hmm. Hopkins in Paranda Fest. But mm -hmm. now we have the same lineup and even more, some more young talent come on, the, on, on, on stream. Yeah, and this is man as terry mentioned us a while ago at the correct place i mean for the easter you know what i mean no place but by the beach side that's why yeah. it's aptly named bea bobash mm -hmm. 6 30 concert bea bobash now bea Bo concert sir yeah and listen the lineup got a stella mm -hmm. terry talked to me about yeah, that lineup. all right talk to me about that lineup no like i say we have spared no well, expenses well, this, this lineup oh, has everybody that you would interrupt like. you i just want to mention to yeah. our viewers and listeners we're giving we're away tickets. tickets oh yes, oh, yes. so pay so attention pay attention, pay attention. Yes, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah we're gonna start things off with um with dj if you have them on zoom will you put them on yeah, let me let me see what we got there. We're gonna start things off early. In the early, we're gonna have DJ Sean and the and the female DJ DJ Sands. Then we've got the Garifuna Collective. We've mm -hmm. got Chico Ramos, the Godfather himself, Sweet Pain Baby, uh, Martinez Brothers. Martinez Brothers are are Super G's brothers, and most of them are known vocalists. Mm -hmm. They got their own tunes. But they're not right? super yet. No man, they're super rough. Right. They're super rough? Yeah, because... No man. They're, you, okay, then you got what's the rough super? Are, quite, yeah. A few of them are his older siblings. So he pay homage and respect to them. Because he, you know, he's, a, he's a chip off the block. Man, we can mention it, guys. Because, no, we have, we have like, um, for example, Timo and Elroy. Those are two of the stalwarts when it comes to uh, Sweet, um, Sweet Pain 3.0. Mm -hmm. So, you know, they... Then they come, then they bring it. Mm -hmm. Then, of course, we have the one and only Adrian, the Doc Martinez. You know, he needs yeah. no introduction yeah. whatsoever. The doctor, yeah, dig it, dig it, dig it. You know, another brother. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, the man himself, the general himself, <coughs> Super Super G. Oh, he's yeah. the general. And not because they don't bring up their mom yet. Oh, <laughs> 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 the boss. All right, Terry, Terry. Yeah. yeah, and then, of course, we got the Soka Dandara, TR Shine. Yeah, it's a mixer like we say, all right? It's going to be Punta, it's going to be Paranda, it's going to be Soka. And, and hip hop as well because we got DJ, like I said we got um, the Six Frost and Papa John that's from that um, genre mm -hmm. alright <coughs> we got the Soka Queen 
Ernestine. Yes, you got me right. You got it right. <laughs> we got the young generals. Uh, we got the uh, Biggs, the CEO. We got Lloyd, Reckless, Super G, Harlem Youth, and of course, Hube. You yeah. can't know how you have a young talent. All right, let's see who we got on Zoom. We have some of our artists. All right, we have what, Super what G. <laughs> what? Hitting it out. Yeah, my man. I, I love how Super G ready, ready, ready. Um, at before eight o'clock in the morning, watch that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, uh, I think we have it's a, it's we're not getting any movement in here, but we were situated that time. We're gonna. Well, maybe. Super what, 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 gonna what, say, uh, well, while we do that, let me um, yeah. just talk a little bit about the show. We, um, it's a two-day, three-part event. Yeah. That's what I'm gonna ask you because with all this lineup, you need yes. a month. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> actually, we've um. Taking the line is so super and heavy. We, we, we've um, taken off some of the artists, some of the acts from the nighttime to the daytime to keep to keep everybody. Right. That's because we, we're trying to um, um, diversify concert and make it more inclusive. Mm -hmm. So w with this lineup, um, this will probably be the only lineup you've seen so far that has a um, um, female a solo f female. Solo female artists and um, and um, female DJ. Yeah. Okay. So so we're trying to we're, we're trying to make it more. As, as trying to make it more. Inclusive. There are some acts that are going to be doing it because we have it's a two day event. It's all day. We have kids and uh, kids and adult entertainment during the day. Uh -huh. All right. For so, both days. I think Sunday Super ready Sunday. All right. Super, super G, can you hear us? Super G. Yes. Good morning. Good morning. Look, we have it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah you're good. good. You're good. good. All right. You sleep with a cap on or what? <laughs> <laughs> well, they tell me to be ready for six o'clock this morning. What? Okay, so you, you got up and got ready. Come around from six a.m. now. Man, they set you up super, but I'm like glad you joined us. That's that's yeah. that's a consummate. Well, well, well tell us, tell us. We, we've been hearing about this uh, Bay Abu Bash. Uh, tell us your version of it. Yeah, well, like the the gentleman mentioned, Bay Abu, you know, right by the beach side. And uh, of course, which place better than doing it in Dangriga? You know, where uh, actually 90% uh, of the artists reside. Mm -hmm. So um, we're bringing it home, we're bringing it back home and trying to give people a, a show, an unforgettable show. You know, so that's what we're doing. Doing Bebo and um, Again, I'll be performing alongside my brothers, and I will also be doing a performance, the Super G style of performance. Mm -hmm. And yes, a sir. whole heap of artists, so people now want to miss this one. And we're starting from early in the evening. This, yep. is, this is Saturday, right? Mr. Yeah, Saturday. Saturday. Saturday, it's at 6.30. 6 All right, aptly. Yeah. For that, for, you know, it's a 6.30 event, and we start at 6.30 in the evening. We would have wanted to go to 6.30 the next day, but... Well, but you will, but you know, with this, well, well, this well, line-up. Yeah. <laughs> we're, 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 we're encouraging folks to, to, to please get there on time, get there early, because the first act kicks off at um, 6.30. 6, 6.30, yeah. Right? <laughs> Actually, we start with DJs from 5.30. Yeah, so, yeah. so you know, because I, I, if you get there at 7, get there at 6.45, you, 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 you're going to miss something. I, I, it might be your favorite act. So mm -hmm. we, we ask, we encourage people to um, um, get there early, get there on time. So and, that you first know. night starts at 6.30. Yes. On Saturday. No. Saturday. What? Yeah. It's a, it's a one night concert, but it's right. a two day. Um, because you have the free the free yeah. beach bash yeah, on, yeah, on Sunday, Sunday. Sunday, which will also have some of the artists. Yeah, like Ogoro. Yes, um, um, during the day on Saturday, we have um, um, Ogoro band back in um, This Salem. is during the day Saturday. During the day Saturday, yes. Yeah, clear that up for me. That, so okay. Mm. okay, so during yeah. the day Saturday, um, uh, we'll, we'll have Mrs. Um, Petia, who is the grounds coordinator for the for, for the for, for the show, uh -huh. I guess she can expand upon like, what, what what's gonna happen during the daytime. But um, <clears throat> as far as performances during the daytime, um, we have um, um, Uber o Band um, back in Sailor, and okay. then we also have um, Hattie mm -hmm. and and, and, and her group. Yep. And then we have um, um, DJ Terz from Dangriga hosting. That part of the the, the event and he'll be what there. What time will that start in the day? We start at ten in the morning. It's ten in the morning, so ten you can go there and swim. And yes, ten, 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 or, ten or to yeah. four, ten or to four, and then we transition right up to into the uh, into the nighttime, and you know. You buy a ticket to go into the day event. Uh, do you stay right through to the night if you want to, or do things change? Well, the day event is free. 
Or the day or event is free. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, so the charge only begins at 6? Yeah. At 6.30? Yeah, 40 yeah. oh, okay. and 50 at the gate. Okay. But talking oh. about tickets, maybe we have to give away a ticket now, since <clears> we're yeah. yeah. on the time. Well, yeah, I mean, I mean yeah. so we, 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 we can give away a ticket. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, I guess the first they person... They mentioned four, four of the... Six. Four, six. Six, six, six are the... Artists or bands combined, the first person calls in. Yeah, yeah. And, give us six. It could be yeah, bands performing dollars. in the day or in the or in the evening. It doesn't matter. Yeah. All right. I mentioned some. He mentioned some. Yeah. So we yeah. want to give away a ticket. This ticket is valued for in advance fifty at the gate. All right. 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 So, so you get a, you get a mentioned. ticket. Call us two zero three twenty ninety eight. This is one event that has to start on time because, as you said, the among our artists here is going to take yeah, you know, two gonna days. Yeah, you're going to go on. And, 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 and it has to start on time. And yeah. besides, Mr. Augustine is Mr. 6.30, so it yeah. has yeah. to be. We want to take it to 6.30 the following yeah. morning, but yeah. so legally we can't do it. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, yeah. um, um, exactly. Let me mention also like that fishing, no? this, will be, uh, this, this, this will be the first <laughs> annual 6.30 Bayable concert. We, we plan on um, growing it and making it bigger every, um, every okay. year. Our phone numbers are 203-2098-203-2281-203052. And we've got to make mention Dallas. of the 30 competition going on mention, too, right? Uh, oh, yes. If you can name of six of the artists taking part Man, in the event, one. the, the Bayabu be, 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 yeah. Bash on Why Not Island. Um, in Riga. You, also call, you win yourself a... <coughs> A ticket valued at 50 bucks. So even if you're from the event. city and surrounds, and if you're, if you're going to uh, stay in, in the city for the cross country, as soon as that's done, you make sure you head to Griga. All roads lead to Griga for Holy Saturday. And mm -hmm. of course, it's the Sunday for the two days event. Right? Tell us about the Easter Sunday, Sunday meanwhile. Huh? Yeah, the 630, 630, yeah. Com the 630 yeah, competition. The 630 competition. <laughs> oh, 630 yeah, competition. Yeah, there's a, um, um, that's a part of the show when it get a little ratchet. Okay. Right, right. So, <laughs> so there's a 6:30 um, um, dance competition. Um, the winner, of course, wins um, $630. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So uh, we're encouraging um, people to um, sign up at the uh, uh, at the gate when they come in and sign up, and then we'll probably do a lottery draw mm -hmm. to pick out uh, six, mm -hmm. and then um, the the six names that are called out, those those will be the ones that are performing. Yeah, but of course, you know, we have to proofread this whole thing because we want six sexy ladies, if you know what I mean. <laughs> no, I don't know Good. what you mean. Yeah. <laughs> 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 sometimes, <laughs> sometimes all kind of people want to jump on the stage, and uh -uh, no with Rafa and me wrong, not with Rafa and I wrong, not at all. All right. All right. No man. Hell no. So we're a stage police too. Um, yeah. you know, so, um, good luck keeping the enthusiastic people off the stage. Um, but it, Super G is still with us, and I just wanted to mention. Um, you know, I like the brand of this event because on the flyer it says family event. Yes. Um, also, the caliber and quality of artists, I'm very, very impressed by. These are people who are quality oh, um, yes. of in, in voices in, in entertainment. These are veterans in the game. Um, Super G, what is, oh, also, um, we know that a lot of the Belizean American diaspora will be in town. Um, what is it that you promise to bring to the stage and, and your fans, especially those who probably haven't seen you in a long time, Super G, because maybe, you know, they were abroad? Apart from clean fun, we're definitely bringing back the hits, we're mm -hmm. bringing back memories, we'll be performing songs. You know, excuse me, so let me, I think we have a call. Hold on a second there. Hello, caller. Good morning. This is Lord. You want to win that ticket? Let me win it. Then. I it all the time. All right. Tell us the six, the six, six of the, the six artists of the artists on the lineup. In the, in the lineup. It could be there. Okay, we have, have Lloyd on the record. We have Super G. We have uh, Pat Martinez. We have um, uh, the, 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 the queen of Soka. Calypso. Uh, Calypso. <laughs> 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 the struggle is real. <laughs> Who? Who? You give four already, four, right? right? Well, <laughs> what else? Three. Two more. Uh, okay. uh, you yeah. have two more. Yeah, wait, 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 I don't know. Like three, because anything I said, the queen, I don't know. Um, boy. What do you say? You're, uh, you're close. Four, you're I mean, I think about some of the younger artists there. Yeah. Some of their sweet. I know Martinez Valens. I mean, I know okay. Martinez Valens. Uh huh. All right, we'll give you somebody else a chance. Because, yes. Before you want quick, before you hang up with, with four. All right. Then, uh, let's let's give somebody else a chance. Go ahead. Try, try, try. 
Give me a young artist. Yeah, squeeze out one more. Yeah, but we will like be kind to each other. Yeah, we do that and and and. What is it? He said that that all he got right now. <laughs> <laughs> not good enough. And I didn't know what to You're uh, going to give him a ticket? Uh, close, close. Um, Rafa, yeah. give him a ticket turn not, Rafa? No, I hate him, him on that. Hello, caller. Hello, caller. You want to try? Hello, this is yeah, Love. Good morning. Yeah, go ahead. I, I'm not interested in winning the ticket. Uh-huh. That's all right. Publicly declare Rafa. Uh, That's the energizer. And Terry Key on the MIT. Yeah. Terry too. But yeah, <laughs> that's, that's a good one. 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 That's a Hello, caller. Good morning. This is Love. Yes, I would like to give a little try on the ticket. Please do. All right, I have Lloyd Augustine. You got the um, Steve. That I miss at 637. All right. Super G. <laughs> Reckless. Um, Why? Well, the lady artist, the lady artist. So, so funny, keep uh -huh. yeah. Yes. And um, Ernestine. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Congratulations. Yeah, man. Yeah. Can we have your name, please? Man, barely make it, boy. Make it. Yes. What's your name? Michael Bainton. Michael Bainton. Where you live, Michael? That's my name. Hattieville. Well, you have to you have to get to um, what not island Why early. Island. 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 Oh, yeah. Before six yeah. thirty. His can, ticket can, will be can, at the door, right? Can, can we get his number like off here? Um, uh -huh. give us a I have so his I have his number here. Okay, okay uh, we have the number. He showed up here on the ID. Yeah, we we. You mind if I say a number on the air? No matter. Six hundred fifty-six zero eight. Is that correct? Yes, sir. Okay, they will they will call you. Um, you get his ticket at the gate, I guess, right? Um, no, we have to get uh, I'm gonna be in town, so we can arrange it. Okay, me. all right. You you you're gonna get a, get a call from Mister Six Thirty around six thirty five. All right. Last, okay, last Michael one. Benton, thank you for joining us. And and then uh, the, the 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 last question for the giveaway will be just name the female DJ on the show. Or the female DJ, DJ. What? what? On the show. Oh, the name the DJ. female DJ on the show. That I mentioned when I was DJ doing Shane the, or something the introduction. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, DJ Shane. The female D DJ. All right, call us quickly and give us yeah. the name of the female the DJ female on the DJ. show. I mentioned it right at the top when the I was doing the intro. Yeah. In terms of the artist performance. Are you win a, you, you can win yourself a ticket. All right, like here we are, Carlos. Good morning. Yes, is love. Hello. Yes, sir. I'm, I'm not interested about the concert. Okay, what are you interested? We ain't just in the other. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that reminds me um, when they announced the prize at an event I went to. Mm -hmm. Yes, the first prize is number so and so and so, and this one get up and walk all the way up to the front. Mm -hmm. And they say, I just can't tell you, I never win the prize. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Carla just did, right? Exactly. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> all right, Man. the female artist who's going to be a part of the lineup at the Bay of yeah. Gosh. The female, the female DJ. DJ. The female DJ. The artist, no? The female yeah. DJ. Because yeah. there's yeah. more than one female well, I artist. You. I got on you. There. I, ha I hear you. I'll be specific. Mm -hmm. Specific. Right. So when I make one mistake, indeed. I got you, oh. Tamar. Yeah. So the female DJ. Mm. Okay, so and you, you got a ticket. The ticket is forty in advance, fifty at the gate, folks. Right. All right. And the, these tickets are for the event starting at six thirty. Yes, sir. It is for the six thirty uh, event. More or less, how many artists you think you'll be covering before two o'clock in the morning when you have a shot? Now we we have a we have a special license that that um, goes to four thirty. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, Terry, yeah. Terry has a count right there, so Terry yeah. can actually tell us exactly, tell how, many exactly artists. how many well, artists we're me. looking at. Uh, right. Right. Quite artists a lineup. To yes. bring a groove on. Yeah. <laughs> we right. have two DJs to start off the things. One of them is the female. All right, so that's two. Or if you're not collective, it's three. The Godfather Chico is four, Sweet Pin five. And then they, they have single artists performing like Vida and others too. All mm -hmm. right. Uh, Vida will do a thing. Yeah. So Martinez Brothers six, and they will do individuals too. All right. Mm -hmm. I am sure. All right, Adrian, I'll do you one thing. TR Shine, seven. 
uh, we got the uh, six frost and Papa John, that's seven, eight, nine. Ernestine, 10. Young General is 11. Biggs, the CEO, 12. Lloyd, 13. Reckless, 14. Super G, 15. Harlem, 16. Hubie, 17. 17. Well, we have a rule here, um, Terry G. If yeah. nobody calls by the time your session over, and I know the answer, I usually win the, the giveaway. Well, <laughs> I mean, and I, I could tell, you know, because it's 8 o'clock now. Yeah. So, um, yeah. I think. Boy, I really want to see the rule book. Once again, it's going down in um, Dangriga, Wynad Island. Um, the show starts on Saturday, March 30th, uh, um, Holy Saturday. Um, 10 o'clock in the morning for the family event, and uh, which rolls right over into um, um, the nighttime concert. Um, the, which basically rolls right into the sun. And then the roll, roll right into the be free beach bash um, on Easter Sunday. Uh, 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 on Easter Sunday. So we're encouraging folks to come in, come early. Don't don't um, um, leave your knives or whatever uh, your 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 yeti yeah. cups yeah. in your, yeah. in your car. Yeah. And your and, I, I can't bring my I can't bring my yeti cup. No, no yeti cups. Okay. No cups. No, no cups. You know, if if you bring it in, you offer the cup at the gate. You pour whatever you have in there. Because you'll have food and drinks. We have food. We have food. We have food. We have plenty of drinks. Yeah. Tight security, of course. Plenty of drinks. So, you know, come, come, come early. Come prepared, and um, you know, you 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 don't want to miss. You don't want to miss the act. You don't want to miss one of the performances. So because it's going to start, it's going to start in time, and it is really for everyone. Yeah, yeah. you, well, you go during the day, you do it in late night, you come back Sunday yes. or at the where do I get the tickets in advance? Um, that's a question. Um, there's a and then we got the we have, we have we have a Facebook post up with all the um the with, the with, with all the ticket vendors. Okay. Yeah, so Thank I, I you. know. Right off the top of my head, I think we have um, divas from um, from from um, from um, Dangriga. Um, you can get the tickets from myself. I think the number is um, six eleven thirty seventy six. Any other barber shops in Riga? Yeah, we have some, but um, I I I I can't listen right off the top of my head. Yeah, you can find the ticket if you really want one. Yeah, yeah. You, say? you can find it. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you for having us. If we had known, we'd have, if we'd have had your show on at 6 30 this morning. And Super G, <laughs> thanks again, Super. It was Thank good you, Super. You. Thank you. We'll see you. Thank you, I appreciate it. I call yeah. this one here, Lady Pipe. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness me. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully we'll hear that one. All right? Thank you, man. Thank you, man. Yeah. Yeah. Like you say, it's going to be a big bang in Greek. Dang. Why not? It will be sizzling hot. So come. Receive your Easter blessing, all right? That's what it's going to be like. As soon as the country finishes, cross the holiday, and you are in any of the surrounding areas, head to Dangriga. Head to Dangriga right. for the two days. All right, right. All right guys, it's three folks, minutes after we eight. We take a break now. cycling. We'll be talking about cycling next. That's the subject right. we'll be taking on. Stay right. with us here on the Love TV you. show.
We're back, folks, and this is the morning show. And the word diverse has come up this morning. You know, the at the concert they have diverse artists and yes, diverse represent, music, representation, yeah. and all that good stuff. Well, and uh, catch catch and release. So far, we've, kill, we've touched on line. quite a few different topics that um, <laughs> are related to the Easter holiday. <laughs> we started off with with a little um, reminders and safety, and then we touched on fishing, um, a beach bash. Uh, we yeah. were yes, and and now we're talking about another prominent event um, that is a part of our yeah. our Easter yeah. weekend. I'm talking about the uh, cycling classic, cycling classic. That's right. Um, to tell us more about it, we have uh, Mr. Michael Arthurs. He is the vice president of the Cycling Federation of Belize. Good morning. Good and morning. Welcome. Good morning. We have Miss Leticia Westby. She is the general secretary. Um, of the Federation, and we have Steven Mr. Yearwood. Steven Yearwood. We, right? we don't know why he's here. We hope yeah. he says he's going to be competing to win this race, uh -oh. um, and he's trying to get uh, <laughs> public support. <laughs> Steven is our friend. That's why we join him. Like this. He's always here on a, on a, with Good. another cap. You know. Good morning to you guys. Good morning, as well. Steven. Yes. I'm so yes. happy to be here. Yeah. <laughs> In whatever Alrighty. capacity. Yeah. I think Steven yeah. is here to tell us to remind the riders not to ride and talk on their phones at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> not safety, not safety, the safety. The yeah. These riders are disciplined, they know. This time, you know, I again, I listen I listen to uh, the subject. We don't realize that it brings up a lot of questions every single time we come up. Mm. First, a usual question, but foreigner win again, mm. you know. And then to make it more exciting, I heard uh, uh, some other commentators, uh, another show was saying, um, Tell us who you think was the greatest rider of the show and so on. Which I think is a very unfair question. Mm -hmm. Once you win it, you're, you're, like, you're, you're not great. greater than mm -hmm. me. Your if name you're is going to get into details in now, I do it on two minutes before you or, or three miles less, that, that is irrelevant. That's the way I put it. So when I asked the question, I said, I, you know who I would have picked the greatest? The first one that did it on a coaster bike. When the road was terrible. Oh, wow. 27 First hours, one. 27 plus hours that they did it, and Correct. we were just talking that about it. I, he is, I it think. went from Belize City to Orange yeah. Rock across to San Ignacio. They yeah. spent the Easter weekend and they ride and back, they ride back for right. 27 hours. And there was also a 14 year old mm -hmm. that did it at that time, and he did it in 50 hours. I think those are the ones we consider great. 50. Yes. They never know if they meet Jaguar out there or anything. <laughs> they just go and no tiger, no back where nobody knows. Exactly, no? exactly. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, so uh, well, I win it or what? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Straight to it, no? We can only say that um, we, the Belizean riders, are prepared for the challenge. And um, we have some riders that you guys are familiar with Derek Chabaria, Javin Gonzalez, Oscar Quiros, Carlton Robinson, Michael Aaron Help Pope. Me, Byron Pope. Um, you know, mm -hmm. these are names that mm -hmm. you hear, mm -hmm. particularly when we have our events and um, there's no foreign competition. When we are having our race and um, our classics and the, the competitions are not, the in foreigners are not here. Correct. Yeah. So. Yeah. But you will, we'll have a usual a pelotons of, of, of We um, anticipate foreigners. probably about 110 riders uh -huh. that will participate, um, which include foreign riders from Canada, the USA, uh, Mexico, Honduras, Guatemala. Any of the foreign names um, we should look out for? Are we keeping, um, an, or are we keeping an eye on? The, the defending champ is there, there, there's, there's a usual, the usual suspects. Um, the Creme New Year's Day cycling classic champion, um, John DeLong. He's, uh -huh. he's coming back. Um, he's coming with his team. Um, Where is he Bilalist from again? Um, Pennsylvania. From, from, okay. yeah. Pennsylvania. Um, I know we have a farmer cross country champion, Bill Elliston, um, who's also going to be competing. Um, who who yeah. was? We have um, Scotty Weiss. Um, we do have some, um, I'm trying to say, John is bringing in some other riders from his team. We, I think it's Patrick Rains. Run, um, I believe Patrick Rains has ridden yeah, here before. Yeah, he has ridden. So we so have some riders who have. Mm -hmm. Come before, and, and there are back. some new yeah. suspects. So yeah, All right. Some yeah. new suspects. So you'll have Suspect. to <laughs> keep it, keep it on no. tuning. But closely. remember, we have our local riders, and we have our two Belizean American riders, mm -hmm. Justin and Corey Williams, who are part of it. So you know, we still hold up high that we are able to bring home a Belizean win. Definitely, right. and uh, we have we have our, we have our riders that 
are up for the for the for the task because we have per people like Oscar Kiros who rides um, mm. on the Miami Blazers team, so he mm. is familiar with these mm -hmm. foreign riders. So it's not it's not just because he's a fan. Yeah, he's good as well, and of he course. he's a part mm -hmm. of he's a part of these teams. So he's and he's preparing. Yeah, he, he's he's the defending we, champion, we'll so he has for. he has. He has, a, his back. he has something to defend, yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I think he's only gotten stronger as a rider since his last win. Um, let's talk about the route of the race. Okay. Uh, before we start about the route, we talk about this afternoon at 3 o'clock. We start with a team presentation and we follow with our um, parade of ri riders um, throughout the principal throughout street, the city, yeah. throughout the city. Because um, last year we didn't <coughs> do that but it's been requested and requested, so we are basically doing both things. The team presentation starts at 3 p.m. at the Digi Park um, near Newton Barracks, followed by the um, parade, the cycling parade um, throughout the streets. Um, it starts tomorrow um, around 5.30. We start with an, uh, a short. It starts on Saturday. Sorry, Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> Holy Saturday. My bad, my bad. I'm like really waiting for this to get on, right? And exactly. um, yeah, so it starts Saturday morning, 5.30. We have a, a short opening ceremony and we start with a um, rollout from, from the park with an official start at Leslie's Import. It goes up the George Price Highway to the Lomalos Boulevard, take a right onto the boulevard and left onto um, jo Joseph Andrews Drive through Salah Sarah Street, which is where the um, market is. Mm -hmm. And then it goes, as you know how the, 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 the way of traffic turns at the um, Columbus Park in front mm -hmm. of the police station over the Hawksworth Bridge, back on um, the, the George, George Price, Price Highway. Highway and coming down to Central American Boulevard, round about Central American Boulevard, Princess Margaret Drive, back to the start, which is Digi Park. So we hope that that can be done in less than five hours, 40 minutes, and some seconds, right? So, that's it, that's because it, that's, that's a, a record, record to break. That's a correct record to break. So, I know it's gonna be hot. Our riders will be prepared. Um, we have, um, you know, <coughs> they need to be hydrated. So we have, um, courtesy of Crystal, we have waters to make sure that they keep hydrated during that. And um, the, the, the ladies had a lucky day. It was really hot the day before, and the day came on. It was it cool. Was yes, that was a perfect weather for a race. Right. Yeah. You know, and according to the weather people, we should get a cool front over the weekend. Any chance oh. that the then that who riders? ordered this? If the, if we have, I mean, because the past couple of days it has been extremely, extremely hot, hot. Uh, over a hundred degrees. Yes. I think as what is yes. the the way you feel it in that regard. So if it happens like last weekend. Believe me that it's gonna be a fast, fast race. Why? Mm. We have over 150 prizes, station prizes, which are considered premiums, that speeds up where riders sprint. Mm. So when there's a sprint, it accelerates the race. Mm -hmm. And um, so imagine all these prizes that speeds up the race and add to the, st the, mm -hmm. the, 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 in, the speed of that race. Yeah, so um, that's what we have, and we our first place prize is ten thousand dollars to the winner. Mm -hmm. We have a trophy donated by um, a Eric Halaf trophy donated by Mr. David Gomez for the first um, first place winner. However, there are certain um, other prizes. For example, if it is a Belizean, the Deputy Prime Minister will be given a land, a family size land. If it's a Belizean, if the first Belizean also, um, if it's a Belizean winner too, but if it's a fir there's the first Belizean who crosses the finish line gets a Festina watch again donated by um, Mr. Gomez and okay. his family. And of course there are a couple um, trophies. We have the Jeffrey O'Brien mm -hmm. trophy and um, the Manfred Atkins trophy. These are past athletes who compete and, and, and won the races, no? So oh, we understand the Wallet is going to be one of your... Yes. Big I will leave Mr. I will leave Mr. <laughs> that is why he's here, yeah. not to come oh, and compete. Sure. That is why he's here to say what he brings to us. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I'm here in the capacity of a sponsor and, and not mm. one of the participants, unfortunately. <laughs> um, but I mean, the, the cross country cycling classic, it's part of our culture. We're going very fast towards the 100th race, mm. um, which is a big thing because it has been consistent every year so a hundred years that's a big deal mm -hmm. um, and it, it, it's one of the most prestigious races in the region in in terms of the viewership both locally and abroad so I mean we are 
so excited to again be a part of this. Um, I, I mentioned just now this is the fourth or fifth executive team that we have been working with as DJ. Um, so we have a long-standing relationship with the, the Federation um, and our involvement in the sport. It's, it's been quite some years now. Mm -hmm. So this particular cross-country is no different. Um, the nature of our involvement is twofold. Mm -hmm. In terms of the event itself, we always want to see the best from the riders or national telecom. So of course, we're looking to see who's going to be the first Belizean that crosses the line. And to help with that, we recently held our Digi Valentine's tour where Mr. Derek, Ch Derek Chavaria, he was the winner. So he's the guy to watch <coughs> in terms of who won something major quite recently. Mm -hmm. um, and then in, in terms of the technical aspect of the race, we utilize our resources that we have available to work in partnership with the Federation to ensure the most optimal experience for the team working on the ground and also for the viewers. So um, Ernesto mentioned that he watched the female mm. cross country and that, that is just <laughs> us preparing for the upcoming cross country. So the, the quality of the product that we hope will be delivered this weekend w should be one of the best that you've ever seen so far and yeah. it's only us working together to continue improving on that mm -hmm. um, so we're, we're, we're excited we are looking forward to seeing all the Belizeans lining the road boat directions we can attest because I, I've ridden before <laughs> So, so hard, right? cycling, <laughs> cycling it, it's not an easy sport, and I take my hats off to anybody who you even lines up yes. to yes. attempt oh, yeah. to mm -hmm. participate oh, yeah. in a cross country. <laughs> so it's, it's very important for us to show support to these indivi individuals as well. Bring out your flag. If, it's a, the, if you want to support by the color of the team, mm -hmm. bring out your towel that matches the color, wh whatever. It's, it's the energy that you're going to give that particular rider that he may, may just need to you know, get that edge, that extra boost. So yeah. we're looking forward to a very exciting day. I think it will be because if you, if you go by, by, by the, <laughs> by the re reaction to the girls, they had a good. Mm -hmm. yes. I mean, people lined yeah. up and were yeah. cheering them along. And um, this is going this up particularly more. when you pass, um, like, around mile, tw they have patches, mm -hmm. mile 25, right. when you get to Belmopan area, mm -hmm. all the way to um, San Ignacio, that's where you see all these villagers coming out. Mm -hmm. Mount Hope, you all know these mm -hmm. brand names in terms of what we challenge yeah. within the race. Mm -hmm. Mount Hope is lined with people. Um, you know, if you look at um, Tour de France, and you know how they, they ride. They yes, yes. Well, we yes. have we own Tour de France yes. in terms of the yeah. Mount Hope. And of course, right there at the Columbus Park where where it but used to turn. Where it used to Wait, turn, but there are a lot of people within that. But it still that, passes yeah. there yeah, over, over, over the half yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah. it does. It, it yeah. comes yeah. back over, so it yeah. goes down yeah. at the mm -hmm. Lomalos. So they have a longer, yes. no, Kyle has a longer yeah. view of, of, yeah. of, of, yeah. of, yeah. of mm -hmm. That's correct. Yeah. Uh, Michael, uh, from what I hear, this is a team sport now. Uh, huh. We mentioned all these favorite Belizeans that we are looking at. Does each one of these have a team? That's yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, definitely, that's, definitely. That, that um, some of them working are, for them to make sure that yeah, it is it is a team league. sport. So it's it's sim simple logic. If if you're the if you're the prize guy or the guy that is will be looking at, if you need some water, I don't expect you to really go back to get mm -hmm. that water because you're spending more energy. So that's that's the whole team team concept that you would have someone who would be able to but assist you. But I'm talking you. beyond the 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 the. the um, the service. The I'm service talking team. about the team on the on on, on the on the um, on the road. Uh, who, that, that's what who he's make sure. About. Yeah, that because this is how. That's that what I'm hearing over. And these teams that come from abroad, apparently, that's what they have too. Yes, definitely. They already pick your win, and we are keep well, back everybody else so you, you can win. Yes. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You are helping you know, conserve so energy. So are, are you, all, you just like Chabaria mm -hmm. and all, all the other names you hear locally. They have their they teams. Have their teams. They have their respective teams, yes. Okay. Um, I know that's for a fact Derek Chabaria has a team of 10, I believe. Yes. Um, Oscar has a team of about eight. About eight. About eight. So yeah. Yeah. The, these, these riders, they do have their team who works in support capacity for them. Um, 
doesn't mean that they, it similarly to what we were talking about earlier of 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 said that if for any instance maybe Derek might have an issue, there's somebody right in the mm -hmm. team who would pick be up. step right. up right yes. away mm -hmm. to, to take that position. No, no so. there's nothing quite as exciting as the finish of the race. Not, but um, I know there will be some station prizes and different points along the race road. 150 of them. We want to look out for. Is there any specific ones that we should be yes. keeping an eye out for? Yes. We know um, on Mount Hope there will be a bull. And at the famous um, Floral Park, Bosman Arnold Hill, there will be a bull. So thanks bull. to the Alfred Parks Memorial Foundation for the one at um, Bosman. Remember, catch the bull. Uh -huh. Alfred Parks, I get the bull for me. So yeah. he uh, he will put one there. His family is putting one there. The bull will be there to watch the. <laughs> <laughs> so catch the bull from. <laughs> yes, yeah. Um, we have two bulls that will be provided, one for Mount Hope because, again, that's the highest peak that the riders yeah. cra um, cra Going up, goes up and during the race. And also um, at the famous um, Bosman Arnold Hill that we have there past, um, as a past Orange Gallery, if you don't know, Orange Gallery, right, as you, the bridge at the top of that. You climb that hill. Yeah, you climb, that's a hill, a steep hill to climb in that regards. The defending champ is... Oscar Kiros. Oscar Kiros. Yeah, he, I mean, he's here. He's a Belizean. Yes, he's, he's a Belizean. And he will be there to that's defend. Why, that's why we took it last year. And, we and that's need what to you're looking it. at on the uh, screen right yeah. now. That's right. Yeah. So, yeah very so I mean, this is a national, if we all know, it's considered a national event. It's a historical one for Belize. And um, Easter does not start until this for some. Mm -hmm. And like Mr. Vasquez had mentioned when it's Easter, his family goes out to the Keys and they charter a boat. You see how good they are. They charter yeah. a boat and come back to Belize City. I remember those wow. days to watch the race because yeah, of how we feel. Many they, years they, ago. You know how yeah. we feel about this event. Get away from the cross so country, stopped, yeah. cross country yeah. sets the tone for the Belizean Easter. Mm -hmm. If a if a Belizean crosses the line first. The entire Easter is about celebration. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. If it's not a Belizean, then everybody's upset. <laughs> <laughs> but they still celebrate Not too bad. If it's a Guatemala, then we're more upset. Oh, <laughs> oh yes. Yeah. Very upset. But you, yeah. you, men you mentioned something just now, Ernesto, and b before we move off topic, um, the, there's a lot of strategy involved in the sport right. that a lot of people don't understand. Mm -hmm. So we encourage everybody even if you are on the side of the road to see the race in person, mm -hmm. follow mm -hmm. us on the Cycling Federation page because our commentators will be talking about the strategy right. that's in right. place, yeah. giving you a better understanding of... Because we all do it. Why Ernesto does this on the back? The people in the go, why mm -hmm. Ernesto no go? Mm -hmm. Go catch them. Mm -hmm. There's a reason mm -hmm. behind that, right? So our commentators will be explaining the strategy I agree. that is occurring I agree. on the road so that you have a better appreciation of why something did or did not happen. Yeah, the young lady who won the lady the ladies race last week, I asked her, she explained it to me in about five minutes. The <laughs> strategy, I didn't understand half of it, but, <laughs> but, but the idea that how she went scientifically how this one raced and how mm -hmm. this one had, when she had to speed up and she I remember she mentioned I use the speed bumps to my advantage. I don't know what she meant by that, but she it, she made that comment. I use the speed a, bumps a, to my advantage. Yeah. So you're right. It's a, it's a, it's a strategy. strategy. Yeah. And some might be scared of rider, some <laughs> might be scared of basically jumping across because they don't want to yeah. fall. Right. Um, and so when it slows down then she takes advantage of it of accelerating mm -hmm. the race. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. those are and you know the, and, and the, then she mentioned the young lady who came in second. Mm -hmm. That then she had to decide how she was going to sprint, or and then her they, who took third. Yeah, I'm just saying this for those, you know. It, you're right. It's, it, it's, it's something. It's 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 it takes us. It, it, it's just not getting on a bike and endurance and going. Mm -hmm. It's become of course, a, we, we've a, a seen, competitive sport. We've seen some wild cards and some unexpected things happen. Like for example, the year that Giovanni Choto took the win, um, when we saw him space so far ahead of his team and uh, it was quite you know different from what was expected so i guess we can also look out for some surprises too yeah <coughs> definitely um we have 16 local teams as i mentioned and who knows the luck of the of any of the riders um because it also contributes i know it's preparation first 
and um, because it could be a top rider get a flat somewhere and mm -hmm. some of them they bike break during the race honestly mm -hmm. um, we, I think we had a couple that at some times where the handle broke they tried to continue the bike seat post the bike mm -hmm. post it's not giving the seat it, yeah. post but basically the break during the race the chain, chain snap. snap all these happen during a race that people may not be seen and it happens so that changes the dynamics of, of course, the race mm -hmm. in that regard so really when you might think up. and oh I mean no this rider was ready there are other mm. things. So I says luck contributes yeah, part of it. Yeah, luck is a luck major is a factor. A, 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 a crash as well within the, a spill within the race can also bring out a rider in that regards. So these are things that happens. But at the end of the day, we are here to bring you an exciting event mm -hmm. on Saturday. Um, please come out and support. Listening, we have the YouTube Cycling Federation YouTube page or Facebook page. Um, it will be tr translated over to DJ. BTB and you're free to enjoy. And of course, the and of course, there's some TV major. Yeah, yeah. Well. Love FM and Love TV will yeah. have the best coverage, so we want to encourage everybody to tune in. <laughs> <laughs> but it's, <I'm> we'll <laughs> it's, it's just what it is. Our team has been our team oh, yeah, has been preparing for this broadcast. Yes, we, know, uh, we, know. we have the best technicians in the game. Definitely. So. Oh, um, oh. Our broadcast is definitely oh, wow. where you want to be. We are, we are selling you, you the footage for the drone. <laughs> uh -huh. We got a better the thing than, than so you, you got the best footage. technician, but we got the drone. Don't forget where you are now, people. Okay? <laughs> 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 You're in my house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So um, we have all that as part, thanks to DJ um, for partnering with us. They have been supporting us in terms of the race coverage to improve mm. as we go along. And this is our tom um, Saturday will be, you know, the real thing. All right, okay. sounds good. Thank you. All right, all the rest of all the riders, committee members, sponsors, Digi to be rider. Digi Wallet, who will yeah. be, uh, who is definitely putting their support into the race, yeah. into the into the the talent. Yeah. And we have to say right, thanks yeah. to the Belizean public and our major sponsor, DJ, BTB, Atlantic Bank, Belize Bank, City Council, the police. Um, these are these are major police and city council yes. throughout the year. And San, the San Ignacio, Santa Elena, they Tom have Tom been um, supporting us throughout the of year course. in terms of our events. Yeah. Okay. But because it is in their interest. Like you said, Sports this is spring the event. economy, yeah. If at every time we have Easter, we have no this race. Hmm. Yeah, during COVID, right? <laughs> it could yeah, have well. been something that could have been making people happy during COVID, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. Right. Thank you very much for coming in. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank, thank you for having us. Guys. And, and to the Federation and so mm -hmm. on for, for, you know, keep, make sure that it happens. Thank you. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. Because I know you have a lot of obstacles. Yeah. Yes, we do. Alrighty, we'll be back. I will be talking about the opening of the Love Lotus Company Limited. You and I will find out more about yeah. what that is, and we'll be bringing it to you guys right after this break. The Cycling Federation of Belize and Digi Wallet proudly present. The 94th running of the annual Holy Saturday Cross Country Cycling Classic. On Saturday, March 30, riders will take off from the Digi Park at 5.50 a.m. with a lead out via Freetown Road, Central American Boulevard, for the official start at Leslie's Imports. They will travel the entire length of the George Price Highway to San Ignacio and return to Belize City to finish at the Digi Park. Let's get it started in here. Over the years, the names Elston Kerr, Aston Gill, Jeffrey O'Brien, the Miguel Brothers, Kenrick Halliday, Alfred Parks, Charlie Lewis, Ernest Main. Justin Williams, Oscar Kuros, and many others have become synonymous with this historic event. Catch it live on the Cycling Federation YouTube and Facebook pages. Proud sponsors.
Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the morning show. And we are the last section of the show. And of course, we still keep it timely, interesting, and diverse. Uh, with us in the studios, we have, who do we have? We have Miss Sasa and Mr. Daniel. And these wonderful folks are joining us from Love Lotus. Now, let me just set the stage here. If you've ever passed through the Ladyville community mm -hmm. along the Northern Highway and you see this big, amazing building to your it would be your right well if you're leaving the city it would be to your left, <laughs> to your left, left right um you after, will, right after the airport almost a few correct yeah um so apparently what we're learning right now is that this is going to be a new superstore called love lotus and these wonderful folks are here to tell us more about it what are some of the products what are some of the services um why this store is different from other uh, locations that we've seen in belize and also the the some of the values that they have as a business all right first of all um i just want to say thank you to everyone for having us here and um as well the reason for this store here in ladyville guys is that um we decided to construct it because it was a dream of the boss, Ms. Asa. And um, we have been seeing that in Ladyville, there are many people that are looking for items, things that we have to travel way to Belize. You know, you ha um, right now things are very hard and people don't want to be traveling way to Belize just to get something. So we decided to um, construct this huge building and, um, and stock it with items which customers can just simply go in there and get anything they need like for example if you need to pay your light or water you could go in there you need to buy your cosmetics your household we have a mini quartz in there as well we have a delay you said a mini quartz a mini quartz is in there with our own little quartz love lotus little quartz in there where you can buy your washing machine your tv your radios your stereo your beds anything that you need you can just name it it's right in there right and um and the thing is that with this building that is so special is that um we always give back to our customers. Mm -hmm. You purchase from us, we give back to you as well. And um, by giving back, uh, we actually, um, like for every $50 that you purchase, you can sign up and uh, to get a membership card. And um, with this card, you can earn points. And once you earn points, you can redeem them whenever you need to. For example, if you earn 500 points, you can maybe get one sack of rice or a sack of flour or something that you're interested in, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Excellent. Okay. So the first thing um, that comes to mind is how, not just how big the store is in terms of the, the size of it, but um, the, I can only imagine what went into the construction of the store because it was under construction for it's been a while. maybe like two years, yeah. if, I, if I'm not mistaken. So you really put a lot of thought into the design of the store. Correct. That's why we yes. call it Love Lotus, right? Uh -huh. Because a lot of love was placed in there, <laughs> right? You go in there, you're going to feel the love from our employees mm -hmm. and even from the bosses, right? No one leaves there sad. You will leave happy, right? Uh, um, when you mentioned the boss and the owner, this is the lady with yes, us, right? Yes, Miss Asa. Yes. So, welcome. Thank you. And, uh, why did you come up with the name Love Lotus? Mm, I come up with the name Love Lotus because I want to share the love. I make people learn about love. Mm -hmm. I, to me, love is power. They try and name the name Love Lotus. Yeah. Because peaceful. And too much fighting, too much kin. Okay. I don't like that. Mm -hmm. So I want to speak to everybody know about the love mm -hmm. in this country. Okay. That I want to say in my mind, say, hmm, this name is good. Love. love, but I just like love FM. Love, love FM. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yes. And, and yes. Lotus, the, it's a beautiful flower. A lotus, and, yes. And it it's it's I think probably the oldest flower I'm reading here ever, yeah, and it lasts, and it's always beautiful. It yes. Has durability and, and like that. So that's the love lotus. Are you are you um part of any other a larger international group because I was looking I'm trying to find the Love Lotus and I found a Love Lotus company out of the US and and other companies having the same the Lotus name. Are you independent from that or I independent. Okay. Okay. That name come up to my heart. Okay. And also we all, I work uh, I work in Lady we were almost twenty eight year really. Mm. My my old store name is a uh, um Lowe's. Lowe's. And then 
often I feel most of you know, them. Yeah, really, I start to like get away. I think to get back to the community. Community. Every time, every time I come over and get away, think now because I love this country. Wow. I love the people. So I that is my dream. Though I want to make make go up mm -hmm. and I'll make more money. Share you the want love. to be part of the community. You can write. Yeah. You know, when and, and the community is leadable. Yes. Mm -hmm. So you've been in Ladyville for a long time. Long you said 20 time. years? Yeah, 20 years. Oh, yes. Yes. Yeah. Now, when we see, you know, these big stores or big businesses, we expect to see a man behind it, you know? We don't expect to see a woman. Um, <laughs> 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 do you think it's, it's more challenging for women who, you know, who do business in retail and commerce? How I say? I feel like we're women powerful. Uh -huh. Right? We women, men could do it, we women could do it too, mm -hmm. as so well. Mm -hmm. That's also, for sure. Yeah, just the yeah, mindset, sure. I think. Of course, yeah. yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Just go She's the mastermind. Mm -hmm. And right. this man helped me a lot too. Also, he helped me a lot. Wow. Like yes. We have been love. moving together. Yes, mm -hmm. we have moving been moving together. and pushing, okay. the suffering, you know, the laughing, the crying, the quarreling, but <laughs> we're getting there together yeah. to ensure that everyone gets what they deserve. Like she said previously, she, um, Years back, she started to give back to the community. Reason being is because our supporters, mm -hmm. the people go to, low, to our to our low supermarket, and they so once they support Where us. Where is that supermarket? It's right in front of the building, like six it's feet just away, just across yeah. the street, yeah. right there in Lowe's. That is our oldest store there. Yeah. We have friendly staff, there, yes. and yes, different, correct. All right. Uh, here so we have a picture of the building right there. Yes. So, when will I be able to walk inside? When and is the spend grand my box? opening and? All right, the grand opening is on April 1st at 8 a.m. And 1st? Um, yes, April 1st, yes. What Monday. Mon this, this Monday. This Monday right here. On Coming. Her, uh, yes, Easter, Easter Monday? Monday, that's right. Okay, interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what's going to make this opening so special and grand? The reason we chose this day is because <clears throat> um, in the Chinese calendar, this day is very special mm -hmm. to us, right? And. Um, you know Easter has already is approaching to us. And you know on Monday, people mostly are free. They're on four days off. So I say maybe on that day, people are going to come in because we have been posting about the store as well. And mm -hmm. people are saying we're excited to see what is in there, you know. Yeah. And, um, and so we are moving along. Yeah. And we wanted to get it open. And the store is already set, waiting for these people to come in. You must be excited to. I'm really, I'm really excited. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. We're moving things on the shelf. I know yes, we are. There, Definitely know. with her. Sometimes we leave late mm -hmm. because we want things to get done, right? We want to share the love. The love is in there. We want to spread it for everyone. No, what what is interesting about this is that normally you would say, no, you want to build something like this. You want to do it in Belize City, for instance, right? mm -hmm. because of the population and so on. But you've been in Ladyville so long, so you understand the potential. Do you expect this store to draw customers from all over the country? Yeah. I believe definitely. Yeah. I believe that. Yes, definitely. Mm -hmm. You know, because we, we, we see store like, just to mention our uh, Benny's, for instance, they open their store on the highway. And, and you say, why on the there? highway? <laughs> and people, Kabilizians are changing the way they, they travel. And, and I, I can't wait for pass and And we inside. have to remember that Ladyville has become a even more convenient location because of the link road um you know it's it's a part of the highway system mm -hmm. so i think it is actually it's probably an even better location than belize city because a lot of people although we they have to come to belize city they don't like the traffic or they might not like um you know how tight the downtown area can be so i think ladyville is actually the perfect place for a superstore like this. So obviously superstore means you'll have a variety. Everything of, so, in there. So tell us, give us details. Mm -hmm. Tell us what you'll have in there. All store. right, in that store, dear guys, we're offering we'll wholesale and retail to begin. The things that we actually have in there, we have, have the meat pies. meat pies. We have the deli to see, right? right yeah, in that restaurant it. there, so you, you can bring your pies. family, everything there. You're going to get the freshest of the freshest breakfast, lunch, and as well in the evening, the snacks, right? I want a Chinese buffet. I just you can I definitely <laughs> come, come, yeah, come there. You're going to get I it, agree, right? I agree, I agree. <laughs> and, the best um, service. Yeah, the best service as well. Right, we have a chef there as well, right? Example, we have Mother's Day coming. We're going to have special treats for the mothers. You can just come in. 
bring your mom, treat them with love, right? Because the love is there. We have vegetables, we have a winery section, we're gonna be doing tasting and wine as well. We're gonna be having lives every night as well to promote different new products that we're receiving, right? Mm -hmm. uh, we have frozen food, we have a snack area, toys for male and female kids, we have camping area, we have automobile section, we have hardware, school supplies, and much more guys to mention, right? You'll do any groceries? Yeah, we have groceries, <laughs> definitely. Yeah. There's so much that they might have forgotten yeah. to mention. Yeah, it's, it's like about 19 sections in that store, and we're okay. going to add more. We're going to soon to add the bakery. We are going to add, um, the, we are going to have the market, you know, the butchery as well. You get your fresh meat there as well. So within time, things are going to be added. So it is a one stop. It's a one stop. Why? Because we have Biscayne, we have... Um, Sun Hill and those other villages from there, boom. People don't want to travel way to Belize. You can just stop there, do your banking as well, and do your shopping, and that's it, right? Yeah. Now, is this going to be one of those multi-tiered stores, or is all of all the sections for customers on the first floor only? Um, it's just the first section. Okay. Multi-tiers <laughs> might be in the future, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Super stores are like that. One yep. floor. One yeah. floor. Yeah. Everything is in there. Is this going to change how you your 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 supermarket across the street, or you'll keep that? Mm, that one. Uh, you that that the concern you're asking me. Um, <laughs> well, I will. I will change it. Yes. I move it over there. Yeah. Okay. That's funny. Okay. That yeah, just yeah. slowly and just no. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I think that now tell us about the, the customer reward program that you'll be having. Okay, the customer reward program works this way, guys, is that um, once you purchase $50 of any amount of product, you can go to our customer service and sign up. Just bring your social security card, mm -hmm. and they're going to put you in the system, and every time that you purchase $50, you earn points. Once you reach an amount of points, like for example, 500 points, mm -hmm. you can just redeem them. You can either get discount mm -hmm. or you can just get items from the store. Okay. Right? Okay. Because we want to give back to the customers. You give us, we give you back as well, right? Mm -hmm. Now you mentioned your work in the community, that you give back to the community. Mm -hmm. What are some of the initiatives um, that you support? All right, we help uh, the elderly. Mm -hmm. We go to children's home. We as well are planning this year, this year or next year to start giving scholarships mm. to, to students, right? Because we, we believe that everyone deserves an opportunity, right? Because as the store is, um, like I said, the store is made of love, so we want to share it as well out there, right? Mm. And we provide part-time jobs for our students as well. You know, because we want our students not to be depending on our parents. We mm -hmm. want them to start to become independent. Come to mm -hmm. us, apply with us. Mm -hmm. Ask for Mr. Mike, the manager, and he there is going to deal with you. Because you can get the job right away, right? So it also opens up opportunities for, yes. for people to get employment. Correct. Okay. Opening hours? The opening hours are from Monday to Saturday from 8 to 9. Okay, Saturday too? Eight Saturday to as well. 8 in the morning, 9 in the evening. No opening Correct. on Sunday? Huh? No Sunday opening we're closed. Sunday. We believe it's a family day. Everyone really? deserves to be with the family. Is Sunday one go shopping? Well, uh, we're, we're, we're thinking about we're, that we're right now because in the future, um, we now, might change the time, right? Beginning, I want to, next thing I say, I want to my employee, everybody time, family day. That's yes. the important because how the name is love, I love my employee. Yeah, Correct. So out of love for your employees, you want to give them this time yes, to be with their family. Right. Yes. yes. That, that, I that hope Ernesto can respect that. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Any, uh, yeah. um, I'm thinking if I, I come and you show you from Belize City, I get a bigger discount. Definitely. Well, definitely, of course, we're going to be you waiting know, for you there. I truck, I truck the, <laughs> the, the yes, man, so definitely. Of course, yes. Because yeah. you, the, I think you're, you're, you're right, um, Tamar. Th these locations now, uh, Belizeans travel, mm -hmm. they, move, they move around more. Yeah. Um, Ladyville is quite populated now. Mm -hmm. In fact, but most of Ladyville does work in Belize City from Monday to Friday. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But after Friday, everybody go back home to Ladyville. Mm -hmm. Correct. Well, That's they go home every evening, evening, actually. Yeah, yeah most after, of them. After work. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So, um, once again, just give us the rundown. The opening of the store is... On this Monday, this Monday, April yes. 1st, mm -hmm. at what time? At 8. At 8 in the morning. Yes. On, on Easter We're opening Monday. our doors on April 1st uh -huh. at 8 a.m. That's a big, big place. Yes. 
now um, I would imagine that customers would have to you know, <coughs> be a little patient as you guys, everybody, everything is just going to, it's going to be your first day in business. Yes, correct. So, and especially there might be quite a, quite a crowd there. Definitely. So make sure you're, you know, you're, you're patient um, with the staff, you know, as, as everything gets put into, mm -hmm. into place. Um, Try not to be in a, in a rush or to... <laughs> and let's not forget the convenience of parking. Oh, yes. You I was about parking. to mention. We have yeah. a huge parking lot, so mm -hmm. everyone has a space. <coughs> mm -hmm. Everyone has a space there. It's, it makes it safer. Yes. You know, parking on the roadside and things like that. Do you, have you already put up the signs for each section and aisle so that Everything I know where to find my there. baking yes. powder or my shampoo? Yes. Yes? Yes, okay. even your cosmetics that you like. <laughs> okay, good. Yeah. Sounds like a plan, guys. And uh, what are some of the, the, the options for payment that are available? Oh, cash, yeah, card. You could yeah. use your credit card, your debit card, uh -huh. or cash or check, right? Okay. Or did you wallet? Huh? Or e any e any cash, e wallet? Any of the wallet? Available? We're we're in the process of that right okay. now. Yeah. So we have right. that in process. So it's, yes. Are um, you said you could do banking? Uh, we well, are soon to have the bank in front of the building as well. There's an extra piece there, the white building in front before you go in. That is going to be a bank. Okay. But I don't really want to get into yeah. details with okay. that there, right? Okay. Coming soon. So there will Coming be an ATM soon. machine there. And, ATM, and so everything, right in there. Right. One solid thing there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you could come in and have something to eat. Mm -hmm. You could do your shopping. Um, the, 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 the restaurant will. The deli, yes. It's a deli? Yeah. Yes. Deli. So you get like pizzas. Pizza, meat pie, meat fry jacks, stuffed jacks. Everything that you're looking for, pastry, nachos in the evening, cappuccino, slushes. Yes. Sounds, like Sounds really, really good. Really good yeah. Yes. <laughs> Actually, I don't know if I'm going to make it for the opening, but I'll be sure to stop in oh, the yeah. next time I'm next in time the Little area. We'll, we'll be waiting for you there. guys, yes. Yeah. And we'll the public there. as well. Okay. Well, thank you guys so much for coming. Because in. I've been in your supermarket. I've shopped there you several can, times, yeah. and you have quite a selection mm -hmm. of goods in there. The huge Thank variety. I mean, yes. And yes. good prices, too. Yeah. All right. Yes, guys. So we invite um, the public, and uh, not to forget to our Chinese family as well, to come in and shop with us. So we So I will be seeing you there. I Thank you. everything you said just now. <laughs> <laughs> we're inviting <laughs> our Chinese public in there yeah. to come and partake with the opening that we're going to have on Monday, April 1st. Will right? you have uh, Chinese um, products? Like um, <clears throat> like different Chinese groceries? No, not yeah. really much. Okay. Because I see lady, we don't have a among people like Chinese in up there, so I know we plan for that. But okay. a lot of Belizeans do enjoy it yes. too. Like food, yes, yeah, special have, soy sauce. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have, they have, they have. They have, they have, they have. The real noodles, like the yeah, 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 rice, the rice, yeah. yeah. rice and that's what I mean. Yes, yeah, they yeah, have. Yeah. That one we yeah. have. Okay, yeah. sounds good. Yeah. Okay. Thank we you. have a section for Chinese yeah. people there yeah. as well. Mm -hmm. And yeah. the Belizeans that are vegetarian, right? So you can just come in and get what you need. All right. Well, congratulations. And I mean, it's a pleasure talking to you this morning. Yes, and we wish you all the success. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And we love, we, we love the message of love that you have behind <laughs> your store. <laughs> uh, well, Belize, we are going to be closing off our show for this morning now. For the week? For okay. the week, yes. Um, we want to wish everybody a wonderful, safe Easter with your families. Um, we also want to say thank you to our staff who are going to be working hard this weekend bringing you guys coverage of different events that are happening throughout the country mm -hmm. a big thank you for this huge sacrifice that our team will be making as well as to all those who will be putting in work um over the holiday season as well all right we want to encourage everybody to be safe oh let me just say thank you to william he's our cameraman and mco for this morning our producer miss manuela ayuso um in love fm studios we have armin i think we have armin yes um no, Karen, isn't it? Oh, it's Karen. Oh, Karen, I'm sorry. Thank you, Karen. Karen is going to keep you guys company for the rest of the morning. Do enjoy. And of course, all of you, like Tamar says, be safe. Take care of yourselves. Yeah. Don't get careless. Mm -hmm. Conserve. Mm -hmm. Protect yourselves. Protect the environment. Love somebody. Be kind to somebody today. It's talk over the Easter. And th those of you who follow Easter because of the reason of 
Christianity, mm -hmm. of course, to you as well. All the best. And I know that it's going to work out for you if you do the right thing. Belize and beyond, thanks, thanks for, choosing for choosing love. love. Bye-bye. Good morning, Belize, and good morning. I say good morning, Belize, and good morning. And how are you this morning? Every man in life go to work on